Hi. Happy Friday. Final Fantasy Friday. Hello. Hi. How y'all doing? Hope you're doing well. Is... Chat's... Okay. <laughs> it was like... Hi, everything. Listen. Tech issues, my beloved. Hello. To be a streamer is to no pain. Hello. Hi. It's working now. How you doing? Thanks for tuning in. Hope you're having a good Friday. Um, we're gonna get back into the game. Maybe we might even reach Gongaga today. I'm assuming it won't be so simple, but I figure at least we're starting stream with Zach, so the title of the stream is still valid. He Gongaga, my Gongaga, until I incorrect buzzer. I was telling uh, on time chat that it was between that or the title stream saying, I Gongaga, you Gongaga, he, she, we Gongaga, which would have been maybe a little bit long, not that this one's short, but hi. Um, yeah, we're finalizing this fantasy. I really do hope that we get a Final Fantasy that's just called like Final Final Fantasy version two final. It wouldn't even be out of line with a lot of Square Enix titles, and it would just speak to everyone out there who's ever sold a, uh, saved a file on their computer. Gongology. Hey, thank you. Um, yeah, very Kingdom Hearts-esque, exactly. So, we'll see. The final lur fantasy. Uh, anyway, we're gonna get back to it. Uh, if you missed last stream or didn't catch all of it, um, we, I think we're near the end of chapter eight, would be my guess, but um, we've finished up the gold saucer, at least our first trip to it. We will return later in the game if it's anything like the original. Um, and uh, we got out to Coral Prison, met up with Barrett's old buddy Dine, so learn more of Barrett's backstory, including how he lost his hand and why he replaced it with a gun. Um, and it was very sad, and then there was some emotional whiplash when Palmer showed up for some reason, which I maintain how I felt in the moment, which is that I think they've done a decent job mostly setting up Palmer, because he's in the original, but he just kind of shows up later on and you're like who is this guy again and i feel like they're doing a good job keeping him relevant throughout um but that wasn't the way to do it the way that they were like by the way here's another boss battle with a silly guy and now we're back to barrett being sad it was like this is not really the emotional whiplash i was looking for but what's a pacing but uh and then we got we got the the buggy so uh, i'm assuming once we get back to the game we i i it's one of the questions i've been having since i played the original because, um, yeah, as you're playing it, you hit a point where they're like, by the way, you now have this giant Hot Wheels buggy that can go across shallow water and, like, over some hills. And it's like, are they... From the footage I've seen of, of Rebirth when they were re revealing it, I'm like, how does this work if you have a giant monster truck on the map? So uh, maybe it doesn't. Uh, maybe it's, like, a little special area you go through. I don't know. We'll see. Um, it's intentionally disrespectful. I don't think it's intentionally disrespectful. I think it's just, I think it's a, maybe it's afraid to dwell too long in that emotional space. And they're like, we got to lighten it up. We've been too sad for too long, which I think is not a bad impulse, but the way they did it was too far in the other direction. They could have had, I mean, they had like Cloud and, and Tifa and the gang fighting other people to kind of provide like a little bit of emotional counterweight, I guess, to the scene, and that was fine, but yeah, I don't know. It was strange. Player's supposed to be annoyed and angry and whenever he shows up. Well, yeah, you're like, I hate Palmer, even though he doesn't seem like that big a threat compared to the other Shinra executives. And now you're like, get out of here. I want to be sad for my boy. So, yeah, I don't know. This is okay. But uh, yeah, anyway, let me get caught up with stuff real quick so we can hop back into the game. Yeah, we're on old sneaky chat. Uh, it, it, I tried testing it before stream and it was still not working. So I'm just assuming it just broke. And uh, the developer who made Chat Bubbles, uh, Zaytri, or Zaytri, but I'm not sure of the pronunciation, has moved on from Stream Elements, and they're now building their own platform called Slime 2, which I've been meaning to look into, but this is maybe the fire under my ass I needed to uh, look into that. So uh, hopefully I'll have time before next stream to try setting something up. So we'll have a, a new, new chat. Um, so yeah. Your Chat Bubble's still working. Maybe it's something on my, issue, uh, on my machine then? I have no idea, because... I tried refreshing the cache a million times, and but there's no new updates to it, so. But anyway, we still have a chat. I figure it's it's like either new chat, which I prefer the aesthetic of, as well as the fact that it makes emotes bigger, uh, but then BTTV doesn't work, and 
like, the bar yuck shows goofy instead of red. So it's like either it's a chat that looks nicer but doesn't have everything, or it's this which has everything. But then the emotes are really bitty small. But we lived with this for years, so I figure it's okay to go back for a little bit. Yeah, I've never looked into 7TV. I've been happy with BTTV. It's just how it integrates with other chat applications and stuff. Get on Helldivers, white guy. Hi, Krauts. Uh, I'm gonna play Final Fantasy instead. I still haven't played Helldivers, but I have seen that apparent- I, I- I don't have the context, so I can't speak to it, but just- I saw that the Helldivers team released a patch that I guess nerfed some stuff, and was like a balance patch, and everyone's mad. It made every- or maybe not everyone, but it made like gamers, capital G gamers mad. I've, it's all the discourse I've seen is people are like, my- 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 my strategy where I could use one gun to just steamroll the game. People are apparently are complaining that the impossible difficulty is impossible, and I'm like, I... Again, I haven't played it. I can't speak to whether or not that's a reasonable complaint. Out, from the outside, it's hilarious. <laughs> so, that's what I can speak to. Uh, so yeah. My real gun got real good. Good. People are mad about that when they should be mad about what, what Smash Man cheered about. Thank you guys. Yeah, I saw about that, and I do intend to mention it real quickly, and then we're gonna get back into the game. It's not even the highest difficulty. Jeebus. Everything was breaking. Seems like there are technical issues as well. Yeah, that's a bummer. But that's kind of part of why I haven't played it. Is I just I know that they were having crazy server issues. I'm sure they'll figure it out. Um, it's seven out of nine. That's the seventh difficulty. They fixed armor that made enemies be able to crit, thus negating the armor fix. That's hilarious. that does feel a little spiteful. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. But I, I saw that some of the developers from the team were, like, replying on Reddit and being like, we're balancing the game, like, calm down, and getting massively downvoted. And it's like, that is how you push away developers to not engage with their community anymore. And I saw that the CEO, like, apologized and said that they talked internally about how to talk. So developers from the team were reaching out to be like, here's what we're doing and why. We're still figuring out the balance of the game. And then gamers got mad about that. And the takeaway was, we're no longer going to talk to the audience. <laughs> through outside official means. Like, we've told our developer teams to not talk to you directly anymore, which is like, that's that sucks. Like, uh, th there are times where it's not professional when it's coming from a developer as a representative of the development team, and they can speak out of turn, so I get that. But like, apparently it was fine until gamers were like mad about it, so yeah, yeah it's fun. Anyway, how are we all doing? Uh, in between streams, Ospelin resub for 40 months and said, question, why is there no monkey sub badge? Um. That, I mean, it's not a bad idea. I just haven't, I haven't run out of ideas for sub badges yet. There's a lot of different ideas for keys, by the way, that are silly. I mean, I might do a monkey. It could be fun, but we're currently uh, in the ice age with the ice key. So maybe, maybe next year will be a monkey. He's right here. There he is. Oh, he's so tiny with the old chat. Look at, look at him. Look, at, he's right there. Um, and also there was a sub or a resub from It's Frankwe. In between. So thank you for that. I hope you enjoy the moats. Spans, thanks for 19 months. Happy Miku Day. Is March 8th. People said it's International Women's Day. Is that the point? <laughs> Is International Women's Day Miku's Day? And no one else's? Scrat house key confirmed. Yeah, that's what the that's what the the monkey key evolves from Scrat. Um Smash Bros. 100 bits. Yes, I did hear. So um yeah, in case in case anyone didn't hear. Warner Brothers Discovery, the amalgamation of two other organization companies that were already not great, formed a hybrid monstrosity that everyone's mad at and continues to make baffling decisions. They own uh, Adult Swim, which includes Adult Swim Games. Um, and Adult Swim Games published tons and tons of really weird, awesome, fascinating indie games, as well as some stuff that was actually, like, Cartoon Network branded. Um, but, uh, uh, yeah, they... Uh, uh, apparently are winding down their interest in games in general because Suicide Squad flopped the way everyone knew it would. Even though last year they had a massive success in the Hogwarts game, which I didn't give two shits about, but a lot of people bought it. Apparently that wasn't enough. So they're like, oh, we're rolling back from all that stuff. And they also killed Rooster Teeth, right. Um, but here's the thing is like, whether or not you're in favor or against or have an opinion on them shutting that Rooster Teeth, there's a difference between Shutting down a company you own, which sucks, and my heart goes out to everyone that's impacted by that. Don't get me wrong. But what they're doing here is they said, they reached out to one of the indie developers that had a game published through Adult Swim Games and said, by the way, we're delisting your game from Steam within 60 days. 
And the devs said, can we not do that? And they said, no. And they said, here's two links that you can click on within Steam to transfer ownership to me. And they said, that wouldn't be fair to all the other developers that we're not doing that for. And, he, and they and they and he, and the developer went, what, huh? So, I don't think they've made an official statement, but you can reasonably extrapolate from there that it means that all the Adult Swim published games will be de delisted within 60 days, and that instead of doing the bare minimum of, the, they hire so many people, they could have a tiny team responsible for reaching out to developers and trying to transfer ownership to them. That's a very reasonable thing to do in this situation. I think this developer owns the rights to their game. I forget the exact details. Basically, they said that they have permission through whatever means to to basically re-upload the game once it's taken down. But then they're starting from zero reviews, zero wish lists. Like, they lose any possible momentum. And the game's been out for years, so it's not like a brand new release. And it's available on their itch still. So they're like, it's, it's fine. It's just kind of baffling. And like, to lose out on all of this to be like, yeah. So, um, can we strike from everything? I'm just gonna eat their cars. Yeah, I hope that David Zasloff just, uh, stubs his pinky toe every time he's barefoot until the end of his days. I, I, it's, it's, it's... Entertainment business is in the business of making money. Always has been, always will be. But just in, it, it just seems especially egregious to so blatantly be like, the art doesn't matter. <laughs> like, which has just been everything it seems like Warner Bros. Discovery has done since it's become this hybrid. And it's just so frustrating. Um, I saw an article in, in response to people being mad at David Sasloff at Co. It's not him in isolation. It's the board. It's all the organization structure at the top. Um, being like, they're canceling all this stuff. They're shutting all these things down. The, the Coyote versus Zachary stuff, which you've been following, is, is also baffling. Um, even if that movie sucks, it's still just baffling. And Bob Iger, CEO of Disney, said that Disney is also... They've been quieter about it, but they've also shut down projects and cancel projects and things. And I don't doubt that for a second. That's kind of natural for any big organization of that scale. But had, the question is, has Disney also shut down projects that were effectively done and just needed to be marketed and released? I don't know. Because Disney tends to announce their stuff more than a year out. Not like, hey, this is about to come out. Bob Iger definitely did that, sure. In which case, fuck them. But it just seems like there's been a... Like, one of the first things they fucking did was like the Scooby-Doo and the Batgirl. Just like, I don't know. It's just... Anyway, I want to focus on happier things. Such as video game fun. But yeah, it's hard to ignore when... Like, Adolsome Games was, was uh, in many ways to me kind of like the proto-Devolver. They were one of the first publishers I can think of that was really pushing really weird small indie games and giving them a platform. And Devolver I kind of had to kind of build up that sort of repu reputation over time. Devolver kind of hit the scene with like Hotline Miami and kind of built up from there. Um, but yeah, it's kind of wild that uh, uh, Adult Swim Games, if you look at their listing for all the games on Steam that are in danger of being delisted now, there's some crazy good stuff on there and I definitely recommend checking out. Maybe buy it if you can and want to support these devs, although a lot of that will, I think, still be going to Warner Bros. Discovery. So maybe wait for them to get delisted, and hopefully they pop up somewhere else and support the devs there. I don't know. It, 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 it sucks. It sucks out here. It's great. Westerado. I didn't play Westerado. But yeah. Two puzzle platforms. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Duck Game is on there. Um, I was looking, I was like, yeah. They're like half of the games I had never heard of, and I was like, I, I, should, I should do better. Because, <laughs> yeah. Where's this list? Um, So I, I retweeted... Uh, 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 Wario, Mr. Wario from Nintendo. Um, so here is their tweet, which has a link to an article from Ars Technica, as well as the list of all of their Adult Swim games. Um, but yeah. Oh yeah, Kingsway was rad. Um, West Auto Headlander was done through them, I didn't know that. Um... But, but, but. So Sound Dodger Plus was the developer who apparently was the first one. The game released in 2013. It's not a new game. Uh, I imagine the sales on that have tapered off, but it's the, not the... The fact that it's a 10-plus-year-old game, and it's not being delisted because, like, there is some tech debt that they need to patch in to get the game working on modern hardware, and it's this big, complicated problem they don't want to dedicate resources to solve. The game seems to be fine. They're just taking it off Steam, which is like... I don't understand why. Um... 
Oh, thank you for that. Uh, why do you install eggs? That's, that's the question. It's like, they've already paid the fee to be on Steam. They, there's, there's no recurring cost to having a game listed on Steam. It's so baffling. Lost games may not get relisted. You could just keep publishing rights. But yeah, that's the thing is, I'm sure each game has its own unique quirks with their contracts and stuff. So that's why there's a lot of kind of... People are assuming all of those games are in danger, and I think it's a fair assumption, but I don't think there's any confirmation at this point. But anyway, nice for a stream. Yeah, listen, you can recommend it. Fuck David Sassler. Fuck him. Fuck the board signing off on everything he's doing but hiding behind his smug face. Uh, it's it's so frustrating. The corporate consolidation of media is uh, my beloved. Anyway, speaking of corporate consolidation, Square Enix, am I right? Any 90s gamers still mad about Square Enix, Enix merging? <laughs> ah! Uh, thank you for the 100 bits, though. Sam Marina, thanks for 17 months. Yay, stream. Happy to be here. Happy to have you. We're going to have some fun. I'm determined to have fun. It's Friday night, baby. Yep, da 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 boop. Yep, but, but Rival Link, thanks for 19 months. Barry, you look like a ham sandwich today. I'll take... I'm going to choose... I'm making the executive decision to take that as a compliment. So thank you. I do look like a ham sandwich today, and I'm glad that I do. I missed the Squaresoft logo. It was a good logo. Does Square Enix have a logo? It's just kind of the... It's like the the, 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 the text of Square and Enix. With, like, the red square inside the E of Enix. Hey, Sue. Thanks for 64 months. Thanks for giving me something else to talk about. Welcome back. Thank you so much for soup months. Um, thank you. The spirits within practically tank square. Yeah. Yeah, that was a, yeah, it was a time. Um, let's, let's go back to video game. Uh, and by video game, I mean this video game. And also we're gonna play a video game over in this direction. So yeah, we're gonna uh, we're gonna get back to it. I'm a chapter behind. Gonna pounce and play Bellatro. Yeah, <laughs> I understand. I understand. I, I'm not burnt out on this game. I literally, I'm playing this game for like six, seven hours at a time on stream, and then being like, I want to play more. I I am genuinely having fun. Um, I gotta say, it, uh, and I I I expect I might. I mean, we'll see. I don't. I don't plan on doing open world, just like random stuff. I mean, we might. We might just in the course of playing. Once I'm done with the game, I expect I'll be done streaming it. But I might chip into the open world stuff on my own time outside of stream, just to kind of see what more of it is. But yeah. Yeah, if you're bouncing because I'm ahead, I totally get it. Uh, yeah, we are near the end of chapter eight. So if that means anything to you, uh, definitely catch you later. Thanks for stopping by, though. I appreciate it. I still might bounce to play more myself. Hey, nice. Feels better on streamer enjoys the game genuinely. I mean, yeah, I, I try to only stream games I enjoy, uh, but especially for something that's a full playthrough like this. That's why, like, my first two streams of this were like, I don't know if I want to commit to doing the whole stream because I kind of have built up a track record, at least in my mind. I don't know if it exists in your mind, but if I do a stream of, of a game more than once, I'm kind of committing to do the whole thing. It sort of feels bad to get, like, halfway through a game and be like, eh, never mind. I could, I reserve the right to do that, but it kind of feels like I'm committed. It's like a sunken cost fallacy thing, I guess. Um, but I was like, I don't know, this game's huge. I don't know if I want to do the whole thing on stream or not. Uh, but I'm having a good time. It's it's very fun, and especially because I have played the original, so I have that point of comparison. So it's been a good time. Um, but anyway, let's get back into the video game. Uh, we're gonna go say hi to Mr. Gungaga himself, Mr. Zack. Um, so, I don't know what the hell is happening here. He's got a note. And he's gonna he's looking at it. it says Gungaga on it. Him? Zach Gungaga. That's his last name, actually. I don't know if you knew that. Um No joint streams, thank you. Unlikely I play myself as Yeah, I I it's really been interesting to see the different buckets people fall into. Of like, I'm gonna play this game when it's on PC. So I'm dipping, I'm not gonna watch, or I'm gonna play it when it's on PC, but I am gonna watch. To just, you know, people are playing it themselves and stuff. But anyway, is Zach Fair, Zach Fairly Gongaga. Luis Gongaga. Feliz Gongaga. Uh, anyway, so, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're Zach. And I still don't know what's going on with him, but I'm sure it's fine. The sky seems to be dying. Or something. It looks neat. I'm sure I'm not going to worry about it. Um, and we are supposed to find, um... 
Was it Wedge? Or is it Briggs? It's Biggs, not Briggs. Biggs, Briggs. So Biggs is the only one that didn't die in this timeline? Uh, is that so we gotta find him. Ma'am? Let's all dance. Ma'am, what are you... Why are the bees out? Hello? Miss, Foley has a Miss Buck Bumble, what are you doing here? Come on, everyone. It'll be okay. All right. Let's all dance. Wedge there better not be dead. You He's definitely dead. Gareth, right? If you want to... Um, if you can remember, you can bar okay, and everything will be fine. Uh, we gotta, we gotta find him. Oh man, Biggs. Sun's out, bees out. Yeah, woo. Oh, yay! Man, man, kids in their games. This is what people used to do before the PlayStation. Shit. Oh, they're actually playing Red Light, Green Light. Oh, okay. I thought they were just running around and being weird, but they actually are playing a little game. That's cute. Oh. Alright. Neat. Uh, hey, anybody see Biggs? Any, any Biggs fans? Remember Biggs from the first game? I just will get some He's like a, hey, you? Hey there. You seen anyone who looks like this? Afraid not. I'm afraid not. Mm-hmm. Hey. Does this guy look familiar to you? I can't see it. It's too high up. Okay. Uh. Hmm. That says wanted. There does not appear to be any information. But Loveless is on the menu. You and yours to something special. But remember, but uh, maybe. Oh, never mind. I mean, I do not remember the layout of the slums. I have so much. I was like, maybe we could go over to Seventh Heaven. Is that this way? Hey. He gone gaga. Hey, hey, hey have you seen anyone who looks like this? Can't say I have. The Adventures of Stamp. Stamp book. Stamp stands up for his friends. Alternate universe stamp. He's a little scamp. Lots of rats. Yeah, there's a lot of rats down here. Whoa. 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 Shit. Think that's avalanche? Could be. Biggs? What did you do? Biggs? These days. Who left the microwave on, chat? That's gotta be I told you to keep them warm. Warm! What? Not more than that. Can't we have a moment's peace? The Beagle timeline and the Terrier timeline. The two timelines. Ah, shit. Ah, nuts. Whoa. That looks great. Is that? I like that the subtitles were, is that? <laughs> There's our man. That's good. I hit the 30 second button one too many times. Just kept mashing it. So that's the end of chapter eight. Huh. Yeah. I love how stupid the buggy looks. Uh, pardon me. So where do we bow the spade thing? South. Far south. And what's there? Not Corral, that's what. How's death on it? Very well. Hold on to your hats. Tifa's doing all the work, isn't she? Oh! Hey, Robocat. Yeah! You act all buddy buddy, but we don't know a thing about you. Woo. Let's fix that. There's not much to know. I'm a nine to five nobody at a small Shinra subsidiary. Another paper shuffling, copy paste and formative of emails. Another Shinra hmm. lap dog. Black cat. My mistake. But you lot are special. Properly special. Never met a special group of people in all my life. How could I not tag along? How could I not tag along? <laughs> Bullshit. Come now. This is a road trip. We should be bonded, not fighting. Oh. Barrett, promise me. You won't take down Scarlet unless I'm there with you. Alright, I promise. If you don't give 
give up the ghost right here and now, that is. I won't let some stupid guard get the better of me. Not before I punch that witch right in the mouth. Uh -huh. oh, that's it. I can't. Wait, just, just wait. We'll find somewhere to. Poor you, Viva. She's about to pop! Wait, Marcy! Not in the buggy! Not in the buggy! Yeah, Yuffie has very bad motion sickness, which is in the original game. They're just... Feeling any better? Yeah. Ugh, leave me. It doesn't come up too much in the original. Hmm. Where to now? We don't have any leads. And driving in circles, hoping to spot a black robe is... The worst idea ever! Was Red trying when to eat When you don't pizza? know where life's leading... You should get yourself... a reading! Ooh! Meow, 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 meow! Meow, 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 meow! Your lucky food is mushrooms. Um, mushrooms, eh? Mushrooms. Wait, Barrett. You mentioned something earlier about the Corel reactor. Did you not? You saw a weapon there, right? Yeah, but I don't recall telling you. Well, it might interest you to know that just a wee drive from here, there's another rundown reactor. Reactor. Materia! Okay, I'm good. Everybody back in the car! Let's go, go, go! <sighs> well, couldn't hurt to check it out, I guess. In and out of the universe, a guy going meow, meow, meow. Why? <laughs> Just a wee drive from here, so it is. Shall we? Why not? Oh, Cloud? Mind taking the wheel? Buggy keep up. All right, float it south through the sands till we start seeing green. We'll be pulling up outside that reactor before you can see Mako. Kate says this joined the party. All right. Okay. The buggy is capable of traversing not only land but shallow waters as well, and faster than the average chocobo at that. Like the original. Press down to call the buggy to your current location. Roll over transmutation materials while riding to collect them automatically. Hey, sweet. Neat. The Gold Saucer is offering new experiences and some of its attractions. Your success in the Chocobo Cup means you can compete in the races. Must like Coliseum as I'll start offering six person team bouts. Oh, yeah. Come on down so to Home what Depot. What's up with that lucky food fortune? I mean, why mushrooms? Well, this way I go smack bang in the middle of a place famous for. Ah, you guessed it. The world's favorite fungi. Ooh. Mushrooms grow near a reactor. Yeah, I'll pass, thanks. It's F and This is what FF15 wishes it was. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. We are going to check out that spring, right? Uh, exit buggy. Ooh. Yep. My god, they made the buggy work. I can't believe the buggy actually works. You know, it, it makes a lot of sense, unable to obtain. Because in the original, it only goes over shallow water. There's like marked parts of rivers that you can cross and stuff. Um, you can't just drive it back across the Junon. So... It actually makes a fair amount of sense that this area is designed to work with it. Can bear shoot down those crystals? You can't just switch to bear in the open world, unfortunately. That would be nice, though. Maybe later. Be cool. Miguangaga! Hey, what's up? Um, because, yeah, the next major region we're going to get to is Gongaga. However, where are we? Where am I? No, there we are. Oh, yeah, we're all the way down here. So... We could either... Okay, that's where we're getting. 
to the reactor. Um, I don't know if it's worth it to stay here and do anything else before we continue. Like possibly a proto relic, or we could come back and do it later. Did I miss the red date? So we didn't have the red date. The date is gonna happen the second time we go to the gold saucer. We did hang out with him a little bit as an indication that he's the one that likes us the most so far. He's gonna be partially done, gotcha. In that case, fuck that, we'll come back and do it later. Just... No, you didn't miss it. Um... Yeah, so I didn't know if they were going to change stuff in the original. I mean, they did a bit. I turned down the game a little. Uh, whoops. Yeah, I'm unable to obtain Pearl Ginger Root, so... Um... Um... What? Well, I... There's, there's high potions. I don't have a lot of beast bones, though. Darn it. Darn. Some more mists. It's fine. There's time potions. Eh, meh. Right. Um, is it considering the spoil F7? I don't want to spoil it. Um, the game itself already kind of spoiled it, and we are we just had Kate Sith say like, oh, you know, I'm like a Shinra middle manager, so we know that Kate Sith is not the cat. But I think I'd rather just keep it vague for now. Uh, also, I do want to fight with Kate Sith and see what his entire deal is. Look at him. He's got the megaphone. Yep. He already has two? Okay. Roll a die. Resulting effect varies depending on which number appears. Bonus for a one, three, or a six. Iron megaphone. Which only has two material slots, but... Switch to it. Um, kid has wild magic. He isn't the cat? Yeah, that's what he just said. <laughs> They're allowed, but not from this one. You, I'm fine with spoilers of the original and remake in the stream, but I'm not going out of my way to spoil stuff the game hasn't. I more so established that disclaimer to go like, hey, if the game does something drastically different than the original, I want to be able to talk about it because that's what remake fucking did. So yeah. Yeah, he's a Kate. Why they let him come along? Because I don't know. I mean, again, Barrett was like, I don't remember telling you what we did, and he's like, oh, here's your fortune. So he's he's a little bit sus. But Chicken Challenge doing Kate's tutorial is the tutorial. Okay. Uh we could do that. I can try to find a fast travel point. There's probably like a um a chocobo rest stop. So I can at least establish a fast travel out here. Um fortunately, deal damage great or small, or perhaps just get your fortune told. So all of this stuff is RNG. Maybe <laughs> hey, finish off an enemy. Okay. Oh my god, he's got a lot of particle effects. Okay. Uh, Fortress Bracer, is that the best thing we got for him? Um, maybe. The Illusion's Iron Man is better, but that's taken. Okay, and then, what do we want on here? Um, power, spirit, spirit speed. Immunity to poison, sleep, grants auto life, grants toad. Sign increases limit gauge charge rate upon staggering. Uh, I want to use the as assess. I mean, that is kind of tempting, and then I can free that up from Cloud. That is a, that is a little bit... I mean, I, granted, I'm not like, oh man, I really want to put this thing on Cloud, but I don't have room. I'm not really struggling with that. Again, what if I had... I, again, it's probably because I'm not doing optional stuff, but if I had a lot more linked materia, then that would t that immediately takes it, because it's like, as soon as you're having magnify materia and stuff like that, um, uh, defensive ones, resistances that takes up a lot of slots and then linked slots become really important but um Yuffie begs to join the group in case it's just like I'm here now everyone's cool with it they're not cool with it he's just like giving the he keeps distracting them every time they're like what is your deal um these things are not take actively controlled that might be nice um first prologue here start it so you know what to expect you can only do two out of four oh then lock later if you strongly recommend starting it, then we can. I My instinct is to be like, we'll just do it all in one go. But if you think it'd be a good time to start it, I'm not opposed. Um, what the hell is Spirit do? Magic defense. Sure. Fine. Um, he's got empowerment. 
Okay. Magnify! Hey! And it's not linked to anything. By default. What on earth? <laughs> why Why would... Why is... That? Wait, does the, maybe his, his yellow starting one is linked? That's why. It has link slot there. Okay, that makes more sense. Um, great. We have a magnify materia, finally. Awesome. And he's got luck up level boost. What on earth? What a weird, weird... I mean, presumably, you want his luck high so you get good rolls? I don't know. I don't know what his deal is. Increase damage up by Moogle by 10%. Reduces damage taken by 15. More damage. More better. I'm going to steal this Magnify and give it to Cloud on Cure, probably. Um, where's this Cure? I didn't... It, Barrett stole it because I was like, oh, he's going to need it. And then he kind of did. It just, you know... Um, move this over here. Uh, okay, if Kate's got that, then that's fine. Move that over here. And then give me the Cure back. Boom. And then slap that Magnify on there. Boom. Now every time we cast Cure, it'll do more to more guys. So that'll be great. More efficient. Uh, Sudo, thanks for four months. Welcome back. I hope you enjoy the moats. Um... So Barrett almost has this learned. Maybe I keep him until we get that. Just charging up uppercuts. Uh, nah, bah, nah, um, nah, something I can level up. Yeah, HP. Does he already have an HP up? He sure does. What about two of them? Make him extra burly. And I don't know what else. Um, okay. So. Let's make a party. Edit the party. Swap out you for Barrett. Swap out you for Kate Sith. So I think this is the full party. I mean, there's not even room for another party member here, it looks like, on the screen. Uh, but I don't think... I think that this is the, the full playable roster for the game we have now. Let's ride, roll of the dice, dodge, and dive. Probably move over and hop aboard and he'll be... I just move to... Yeah. Because there's more party members in the original that we will meet in this game, but I think Square said they're not playable until the next game, which I think is a good call. It'd be a lot to get them in here at this point. Woo! Do, 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 boo, 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 do. Oh yeah, you can really be bad at this thing. They put a lot of time into making it not awful, <laughs> so. Sweet. Sid and Vincent, yep. And Vincent is optional in the original. Bah. Though I don't think he's optional in this. We'll find out. That's still a ways off. Uh, so can I drive into this or is this too... Okay. Hey, Yuffie, you get motion sick, right? Does this help? There's some guys there. Where am I? As optional as Yuffie, so not optional. I'm going the wrong way, ain't I? Let's grab the tower that's here. There's a Kate Sith plush pre-order. No. Eh. Did the King Rush 4 will come out before the next FF7 game? God, I couldn't say. Um. I I'm tempted to say no. I think they might finish the FF7 remake trilogy before going all hands on deck. I mean, I'm sure they're different teams. I don't really know how Square Enix is organized. Other than that, their mainline, like, FF16 team is Creative Business Unit 3, which remains one of the greatest names for a game developer of all time. They're gonna be the same game? No, God. Anything but that. Yep. 16 and 14? They're the lead dev on 14? I know there was a lot of 14 staff that worked on 16, but I thought they were different teams. That's wild. Anon! Thank you, Anon. For gifting that sub to Jax. Welcome back, Jax. I hope you enjoy the modes. That's just some of the side quests rather MMO. Yeah, 16 is not my favorite designed RPG that I've played. There's a lot I liked about it. I... I... 
This is for you, Chadley. I also want to see if this puts the Proto Relic on the map. Um, it just pops in the NF7 Part 3 in the final boss. All right. The main rider was uh, of 16. I forget the all the overlap, but you know. Cloud. I've detected Proto Relic signals emanating from nearby modular reactor. I'm sending you its location. It would work. <laughs> We've seen gameplay kind of. Uh -oh. We they had that one trailer. Sandstorm must have kicked up or something. Transmission go through? Yeah. Like there was that Kingdom Hearts 4 teaser trailer thing, but that seemed very early days. Who knows if it come out before part not? This interview with Kingdom Hearts Part Three is a lot done because Rebirth, Brain Plan, like a high war. Yeah, I can imagine that. Because cause already, like, I can see that they did a really good job adapting the buggy to the open world. But the high wind is an airship. How, how does that work? I don't know. Another life spring. They just, they just drive over this, huh? Num, 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 num. Yum, num, 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 num. All right, everybody out. Five minute break and then we're getting back in. Yep. It'd be like nine. It's a map in the list. Maybe. Mm. Hey, thanks for the bit tracker on. Whoops. Good news, you're allowed to fail that. I think she the fucking stock Alisan effect. Yeah, you know, it's Yeah. I'm okay with it. Alright. I need I need a focus. I need a focus because I'm I I'm already on autopilot just doing open world stuff. And I've been here for five seconds. Huh. What? Upon analyzing the data from the life spring, I was able to locate a new transmuter chip. Yeah. The chip can be found in a village abandoned due to desertification. This erosion yeah. will spread if left unchecked, and eventually the entire village will be swallowed. Being able to craft more stuff is definitely to good, though. The chip before that happens. This is why I've been avoiding the open world because I know I'll be tempted because they. They've put decent rewards into doing the side stuff, which is maybe the most important stuff of open world design. Is is to actually make the open world meaningful to the player, not just, look, you got more crafting materials. Look, your number went up. But to go, hey, you got a materia. You got the like a crafting recipe. Like that's Hey, listen. Hey, Cloud. Listen up. Uh uh there's that. I don't have any fast travel around. I have this. Okay, that's not so bad. And then Desert Waypoint. So they just give you that to start. Okay. You need to do all live springs in the region to finish Johnny's Quest. Johnny's Quest. Let's do this real quick. Just real, real quick. Yeah. Wait, there's a thing. Everybody out. Whoa. Hey, just Bev. Welcome. Thanks for the sub. I hope you enjoy the emotes. We have quite a few. Never mind. I thought this was a, a fast travel. It looks like a bench stop, but there's no, there's no thing. Weird. I got a cushion though. Yeah, I can't use it. Huh? Watching the vods instead of watching live. Hey, thank you. Hope you've been enjoying the vods and hope you enjoy being alive. Appreciate having you. Where? Oh. Oh, the, the, the car automatically backs away. <laughs> That's really silly. Uh, hey, Kate Sith. Kate Sith fights with a megaphone and his trusty Moogle mount. Press square to attack or summon his Moogle with the Let's Ride ability. He starts without the Moogle, which will unlock more of Kate Sith's ATB commands. Okay, as the Moogle attacks, its meter will fill. Press the button to deplete the meter and activate Moogle abilities like fight or defense. While astride the Moogle, hold down square to attack alongside your furry pal. Press scroll, circle the dismount and triangle to remount. The Moogle withdraw from the fight once its HP re reaches zero, but can be summoned again. Weird. Kitty Wallop? Oh my god, it really is just a little cat running around the battlefield. Um. Okay, fine. I wanted to go into photo mode, but I don't think you can. Where? Oh, there it is. Um, let's ride. 
What? What the fuck? Drop kick him. I tell his fortune. Did he do it? Did he tell his fortune? What the shit is this? What did they do? What did they do? Also, his megaphone is like range damage. Because that's one thing I was like, I don't fully get. All of Kate Sith's weapons are megaphones. They're called M phones. So you get like a yellow M phone, a black M phone. And that's the case here. But I just was like, I don't know how that works, so I'm choosing not to think about it. Or I was like, maybe it's just he's like dictating commands to the Moogle as he rides it. And that's what the megaphone does. Does it stand for Materia Phone? No, that was Megaphone. Regardless. I was like, I don't really get what his deal is. And they're like, no, he like swings it around and the little magic goes flying. They made him as silly as they could. And that was the right impulse, I think. Uh, yeah, it's back that way. Oops, 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 oops. Robot cat and a puppet moogle. Yeah, what do you do? You cannot proceed further by buggy. Wow. The buggy just hard turned on its own. It was like, no. That's bizarre. Wait till you see Kitty. Oh my god. Limit breaks. Unearth. Hey, my chocobo's here. Great. I was wondering about that. If I have a buggy. But yeah, the buggy summon is different than the the chocobo summon button. What you got there, buddy? Oh, it's outside. Ah, dang it. Ah, nuts. Ugh. Got some wild abilities. I want to. I want to use them. I. I didn't use Kate Sith too much in the original because I. I found myself gravitating away from both Kate Sith. Um, manifestation of plants medicine. Oh, a karmic cowl. Sure. Um, I kind of gravitated away from Kate Sith and Tifa as I got further in the game because a lot of their abilities were like effectively roulette wheels, like Tifa's limit breaks. And I found myself more interested in... I mean, I say that, but then I rocked Vincent. Whose, whose limit breaks were just, fuck you. <laughs> I'm doing what I want now. Um, so... Karma Cow's real quick. Is he like Batman? Ah, nuts. Alright. Deal with that. Do it! Fuck him up! Get him, tiny cat. Get him! Um, roll a die. Fortune tone. So I can do that without the Moogle? Just made a cartoon-ass pop noise. I'm not surprised. It just is delightful. Man. Bird trap? What would that do? Can I capture Cloud Jr.? Bring him home? Yeah, over here somewhere. What do you smell, boy? Smell something stinky? I'm doing a full circle, man. What do you smell? There it is. It's buried on a plank of wood. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, com come on. Try again. There you go. What? No? What do you mean, no? Gotta have a good, good lineup. This is why I haven't been doing all the open world stuff. <laughs> Senses something nearby. How am I not? What? Oh, that's where the path continued, did it? Or is it going inside? It must be going inside. Ah, shit. Fortune telling can do some stupid damage. I mean, that's the power of a silly RNG ability. Is at some point it's just gonna one shot an enemy. What? 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 Can I open that door? Who's running to a solid object? Gotcha. Um, what? I'm going back. I'm backing up. Sniff from here. Is it underneath it? Sir? Uh, is it in that little corner? It must be. 
Did I not try sniffing back here? Ah, uh, I see. Okay. Armor upgrade six? What? Okay. Enhanced old beast bracelet. Yeah, these are probably worth doing, huh? I just can't be bothered to spend... To double the length of this playthrough on stream. Just to get a couple goodies. They're nice goodies, though. I'll grant you that. Uh, whoa. Thanks, Kiwi Queen. Welcome back. I'm coming back from center stream, so I want to play myself. Popping into resub, saying my boss gave me a famous Amos today, and I seriously consider getting some hot water. Try hot Amos. If you do, report back with the results. But thank you, and I totally respect not watching the streams for the game. See you when, uh, when you feel like it. Thanks for stopping by, though. Um, embodiment of the planet's grace. It takes five sage. Do it. Um. Mm-hmm. I can make a beguiling armlet, which no one wants. Sweet. And I can not. Oh, I did. I think I did make some of these and then sell them. So the Bissell Bengal and an old beast. Oh, I didn't make them. Never mind. But maybe I should, because I think I made some stuff and then sold it. So I was like, I don't need that, but maybe I should keep them to see if I can upgrade them later. And then sell those. Karmic Cowl. You need a Tonberry's King Robe? Channels the collective grudge of one's comrades into a protective power. Someone was talking about this in, in a different Final Fantasy, where the Tonberries have a grudge. Increased vitality and spirit by 30, grants immunity to slow and instant death. What the hell? That's really good. I need to murder me a Tonberry King. Oh. Summons live streams and products are high, high tier. Combat's quest mostly for fun extra stuff. Mm. I mean, if you're playing the games, I used to watch your recaps and die of laughter. I'm glad you liked them. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, I have, uh, oh, hmm. Well, let's just make it for the points. Don't think I'll equip this on anyone, though. Never mind. Don't have the points. And bird trap. Bait used in spring, springes? Springs? To humanely capture small avian creatures. This is a key item? There's like a quest that uses this? Alright. Okay. Um, everyone's grudge. Their damage is based on number of mobs killed. Uh, yeah, no, thank you. I'm glad that you have enjoyed. I don't have any plans for more Kingdom Hearts videos. God willing. If I survive long enough to see a Kingdom Hearts 4, we'll see. Um, but... I do want to... I do have many plans to make more non Kingdom Hearts videos, and I've been immensely slow, even by my own standards, at making more stuff, but I do plan on making some changes soon that I'll talk about on stream in the future. Don't talk to me! So yeah, because the Rave F7, Jesus. No, I want to pick up the... Th Where am I? Where am, what am I doing? Right, I want to get the hell out of here. There. Um, I mean, I'm, I am, I am tempted. We might, I might explore a Metal Gear video. Oh, this is where we first came out. Okay. Um, call buggy. It's probably for the best they make that a cutscene. Welcome to the Buggy X85000, home of the biggest fuck you energy in this part of town. Do you want to pull up to the Walmart and take up every parking spot in the, in the parking lot? Then get yourself a Buggy X58023000, the fuck you maker. Piss off everyone within a five mile radius and the sound of the exhaust They're alone. Nothing. Shit. Take Go, get him. I mean, I don't think so, Toasty, but I think it'd be fun to make. I, I still attribute a lot of the... Oh, a lot of the success of the Kingdom Hearts video from a view standpoint is the... What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Six! Is that good? 
a shield. Whoa. Nice. Bam. Roll another one. Three. Uh, Blizzard? What did it say? Well. Let's ride. Yay. Anyway, um, can you nudge the dot? I, sh I should try to. Yeah, I'll add some dragon. Found it yesterday. Um, but yeah, no, exactly. The, 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 the Kingdom Hearts video, I attribute its video, its view success to two things. One of which was in my control, which was the timing of the video dropping right before Kingdom Hearts 3 released, which was a very deliberate move, obviously. And then the other part I don't have control over is that the YouTube algorithm just went fucking ham with that video for some reason. Nothing I've made before since has come remotely close to how aggressively and how quickly YouTube said, we're going to show this to everyone on YouTube. So that is the kind of lightning in a bottle that I would be a fool to aim for because it's out of my hands. But if I make a Metal Gear video, I think it'd be fun. But no, it's fine. Shit, I need to mark down where I already went the wrong way. There. Um, never gave the grump. Yeah, no, a lot of people are in your shoes. Uh, which is a rad thing to think about. But yeah, I... Uh, I don't expect we're going to get a new original Metal Gear game. And if we do, Kojima won't be attached to it. So... This must be the sandstorm. I'm okay with people other than Kojima making original Metal Gear stuff. He himself wanted it for years and years and years. Every Metal Gear was his last Metal Gear for a long time. Yeah, the best thing is there, there is kind of increased interest in Metal Gear right now. What the... And lo, whither should it lead me but these sweltering sands? What is this thing? Is it Greg? No way. What misfortune for you to venture so far for treasure already claimed? You would do well to leave, that I may collect what is by rights mine! You think the proto relic is yours? Proto what now? Relic, you say? Ha! Good year for Sandler. <laughs> Unworthy of my treasure. Is game what doing a real game awards this year? Is none other than a prize in my resplendent arsenal. Write it down. Uh -oh. Best big guy made uh -oh. out of sand in a video game. I can hold no longer. Oh. Oh. That was extremely silly. You have to make yourself so big. <laughs> From intimidating so, to no, 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 no. <laughs> no, I don't want to talk to you about it, Charlie. I want to go run oh, around in the scene. Thank goodness I finally got through. Are you all right? I'm fine. But what the hell was that just now? I'm investigating the matter as we speak. In my initial analysis of the sand entity, I detected a proto-relic-like signal. I'm unsure how they're connected, but I fear we might be after the same thing. Of course we are. There's no telling where it might appear next. Please, be careful. The chat, the phone looks really uncomfy. Not only that, the screen is always pointing up where Cloud isn't looking. Uh, okay. So that didn't check it off the list. What? What? Well, look at you! Hey, look at you! Oh, I did stop right next to one. Okay, so there still are chocobo stops. Oh. Oh. The way that that blue pillar was... I thought there was a blue materia there for a moment. It was like, whoa. He gets so sad when you drop it. <laughs> oh, baby! He's just a little guy. 
It made him sad, but no, it made him happy. Why is this a hold? Because uh, they made an animation where he's sad and they wanted you to see it if you mess up. Eagle ball, little cheeks. <laughs> Shake his little head around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. See you later, kid. Uh, all right, let's just... Almost there. Okay, I'm going to show off a funny bug I had in this area. Yeah, sure. Um. But yeah, uh... Oh. This is concerning. The signal is growing stronger. Perhaps there is a proto relic in the nearby reactor. Uh, you mean that thing? It's been altered. Though it doesn't appear these modifications were made by Shinra, whoever's responsible may be waiting within. Proceed with caution. Okay. Um. Well, I was having the, the grappling hook got stuck on Cloud and was following him through the whole map, going through the ground and mountains. It finally left after I retried a battle. So you had to reload the area. That is bizarre. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, Cloud, what happened? Oh, Cloud, what are you doing? He's okay. He's fine. That's very silly. Video games are a miracle when they work. Even if they're not working. I like bugs. Bugs are neat. Yeah, no, I... Yeah. Shit. We're gonna die in here. We're gonna fucking die in here. <laughs> I'm gonna save. Uh, hmm. He's playing Tron leaving a trail behind. Ooh. Man, I am still so... Mad. <laughs> that we're... I, as someone who really enjoyed the, the Tron media of the 2010s... Tron Legacy, despite its flaws, and the Tron uh, uh, Disney show that I forget the name of. They were both pretty good. I was like, man, it'd be great if we got more Tron. And now we're finally getting a new Tron movie, but it's just like every part of the monkey's paw curled at once. <laughs> a mysterious power blocks the way. Oh, it's thank some God. Sort of monster's den. A fortress, I didn't, you no. Whatever it is, I, I don't mean think to check we can it out. get inside. <sighs> Uprising, that's the show. Yeah. Which, don't watch it. It ends with a cliffhanger and then never gets resolved. Not cliffhanger so much as like it doesn't really end properly, and then it got canceled. Commencing scan. I believe I have a match. The symbols resemble those found in the Book of Kings, an ancient tome. Allow me to translate. Cactuar King. Hmm. Tron space paranoid. Yeah, the OG Tron aesthetic. Well then. Is very good. In order to unlock this door, you'll need to locate a cactuar rock hidden somewhere in the desert. I gotta find a rock. What kind of rock? A mineral deposit named for its distinct cactuar shape. These runes look like now combos. Now contact with this door. It looks like how you do a combo in Tekken. Be marked by a green glow. By the like way, command notation. Do you happen to see a cactuar shaped statue anywhere nearby? Uh, the one to our immediate left. Oh, look other way. Other oh. way. Yeah. That's it. That statue should guide you to the rock I spoke of. Which in turn will serve as the key to the door. So we need a suplex to train. If you so put we it must in, prove ourselves worthy. I know you can do it. If you input that command in the opening cutscene of FF7 when he's riding the train into the bombing mission, raise the Cactuar statue aloft and follow the light it emits. Oh, we just shadow the Colossus now. Agro. That 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 way. That, that way. Shadow of the Cactuar. Cactuar. Hmm. This is literally Shadow of the Colossus. I mean, if I don't end up, like, climbing a Cactuar, are we even gaming? Yes! This is just going to end with me getting murdered by cactuars for like the 80th time. Huh. Through the mountain? Uh. Alright. Is this faster? Neither is faster. Um. Hmm. Uh. Can I climb? No. It's going to go great. No. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Yeah. Oh, look at you. Oh, look at him run. 
Ooh. Oh, slow down, little guy. Be careful. Oh, look at this. I got it. I got it. I got it. No one help me. I got it. This is very far forward compared to the rest stop itself. But I guess they did put it up against a wall. Hello. Grab his stupid little head and rattle it around. His only brain cells in there like a marble. All right, see you later, kid. My own, one of my only game overs in this game was to a game of cat cars. Yep. They'll fuck you up. Yeah, there's there's some wild cactuars. I ain't fucking with them. Uh, still, still keep going. They're in the weirdest spots. I mean, they're effectively just fast travel beacons is their primary use. So, it kind of makes sense that they might not be in places that make sense within the world, but then from the world map to be like, okay, there's one there, there's one there. They have like an even distribution. I almost wonder if they built the open world and at least rough strokes and then figured out where the fast travel point's gonna be. Is it? Is it still further? It is. It's. It. I gotta get up on there. So I gotta get to where that. Can I warp to there? Is that the. I can't tell. Oh, I haven't. Have I not been to that tower? Which. Which when? When did. Is that this? Fast travel. I can't. Hey, you're welcome. Oh god, the noises. You good, buddy? Hello? What? Y'all heard that, right? Is that this way? This isn't the way I'm supposed to go, I don't think. Um. It wanes. His power's waning. It wanes? It guards? It does it all. Well, I'll just follow the beacon. He just pops up around here sometimes now? Oh, good. Um. Yep. Alright. This is like Tears of the Kingdom with its green crystals. It's just my crystals, a cat bar statue. Yeah, there's something up there. This is a very good theme, too. Um, okay, I figure we'll do the Proto Relic. Either the first stop or the first two stops. And then we will continue down to the south. Um, go back to main. Yep. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Hello? Um. Stand before the rock and raise the Cactuar statue. Sir? Okay. This is a cursed rock. This is pretty cursed. Oh! Whoa! We are going to die. We are going to die! Nope. Nope, that's what Bowser needs. Stop. Please don't. No. Take it from here. Get him! Get him! Uh... Boom! Don't forget to assess them. I did not assess them. Is that okay? It Is it just because that's the one time they show up? <laughs> I'm fine. I haven't assessed a ton of stuff. 
Oh! Oh no! Cloud! Um... What are you doing? I'm not... doing... anything. <laughs> Sonic Adventure! Oh man, that was hilarious! Cloud Adventure. Hey, you think there are any more of these amazing rocks out there? Book liability is most impressive. Whatever. Let's go. Return to the reactor and instead of, okay. Latent an adventure. We're in monster territory now. Yeah, I know. Rare sand spitter variant detected. Okay. Great. I just want to see if there's anything else up here. It looks like there is. The doomed weapon. I love that if you run out of the radius, she just shuts up and Cloud got, Cloud's just like, nah. Because that's me. That's literally what I do. When I'm like, I don't want to. Ah. Leave me alone. It's chasing me. What's all this then? Did they just drop a giant model here because it looks neat? Yes. Or is there actually something here? This might not actually be anything. That's whelming. The old guy. Some other guys. Huh. He was boinging right at me. What was I supposed to do? Run away and panic. Yeah, all right. I don't think there's stuff here. Back we go. All right. Put me in the buggy. Welcome to the Ford 780 9020. The newest and greatest truck it's got a towing capacity of 8 trillion tons. Hi. Yeah, they're making another Chadley. Yeah, they made girl Chadley. Put her in the computer. Hello? Hello? I should probably rest up at that bench. I'll leave the truck here. That's a good idea. We we'll probably better have an envy traveling. No kidding. Hey guys, I'm going for the first time ever to use a cushion. I used one. It's a moment. R.I.P. Moments. Did you see that? Did you see the way I used that? Yeah. He loves it. He loves that I used the cushion. My buttons are slightly soothed. Ass this all that cushion. I mean, look at him. Cloud has like no ass. What do you want from him? This game needs to release on PC urgently so people can mod him to have a great juicy butt. their noises. Kind of like little monkeys. The gamers yearn. They're adorable. What are they saying? You know? To them, the proto-relic is the treasure of the sands, it seems, which they have kept safe for generations. Moreover, they are duty-bound to ensure its safety until its rightful owner comes to claim it. Wonder who that is. Hmm. For all we know, it could simply be a myth. You're saying these guys have their own fairy tales? Sounds pretty silly to me. Hang on a sec. Who are you calling a fairy? Whoa! No need for all that. 
Name's G, Kid G. Descended from a long line of goblins. I look after these cactuars. It's a duty passed down to me from my forebears. Wait, you can talk? <sighs> Speech ain't that hard, lady. Where there's a will, there's a way. Given your present company, I'm shocked you haven't shaken that preconception. <laughs> he does have a point. Quoth Cactuar Scripture, the Book of Kings. Unto those who seek the treasure of these sands, a trial shall be given. <laughs> if you think you've got what it takes to be the treasure's rightful owner, you're gonna have to prove it first. Where'd they all come from? And now your trial. Take down the cactuars within the time allotted. If you can. Oh, it looks like we have ourselves a volunteer. Who? Oh, me? The amount of emotional whiplash I got. Like, I, I watched the little PowerPoint presentation in the gold saucer. I knew that there was going to be a little goblin kid who looked like this running around. I assumed he was on Goblin Island and we wouldn't meet him in this video game. And maybe in part three or something. But he's just hanging out. He's like, hey, I talk like a Sonic character. How's it going? It, like, just, I... Fuck. Trial, trial, trial. Just came in. Why are we fighting Netflix live action Parappa? <laughs> Holy fuck, we've... <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, hi. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, but I hate that. <laughs> Test your might against an army of spiny speedsters in this race against the clock. I'm covering his face. Defeat as many cactuars as possible within the time limit. Each cactuar defeated will add to your score. Reach the target score for tie runs out to win. Can all shape sizes and point values. Some boasting special properties. Gladiate Twars are more susceptible to standard physical attacks. Magic Twars are vulnerable to magic like Yuffie's Ninjutsu. Okay. 2,500 points for the best rank. Okay. No one tell on will be banned. I... Oof. Oof. This is actually pretty tough. Seems tough. Make way for the amazing YouTube. Uh, any idea what? Never mind. They're weak to fire, I would assume. I'm dead. There's a gay one. Get him! No, don't like that. Uh. Shit. The fuck? Getting hit takes your score away. Shit. Yeah, I. Shit. 
Can you, sir? What? Shit. I'm not very good at this. If you have Windstorm, you just gotta get everything close to you, it's just deal damage to all of them. I do have Windstorm. <laughs> gotta say, I'm impressed. You gonna hand over the proto relic then? Huh? Never heard anyone call it that before. But I'm a goblin of my word. So here. And so, as promised, your piece of the prize. Piece? We want the whole thing, shrimp! Then you're gonna need to go around and gather up the other bits. Put it together yourself. Right. So what you're saying is... That more trials await. And that yours truly will be your guide. See you next time. What an unexpected and exhilarating turn of events. An ancient treasure guarded by an army of cactuars and a goblin. Not to mention the mysterious giant of the sands and the Book of Kings. Huh. Increase in body temperature detected. I believe I'm rather excited. <laughs> I've already picked up another signal from the Proto Relic. Or rather, the treasure of the sands. Head for Modular Reactor 2. Say. How many of these mini-reactors are there, anyway? Several. These modular Mako reactors were erected throughout the desert as a means of generating and supplying power to the Gold Saucer. To avoid accelerating the desertification of the region, the reactors are periodically cycled between active and dormant states. Who would have thought all that glitz and glamour came at such a high cost? In any case, the reactors have been ingeniously repurposed by the Cactuars, and within these fortresses, they may secure their treasure. I honestly doubt Shimmer could produce anything half as resilient as this combination of sand and Cactuar nectar. Cactuar nectar. Wait. Kid G was an old schoolyard rumor about the original game? This is a reference to an old rumor that existed. Alright, goodbye. I don't need a max level on the minigame. I'm good. Zinrik said the fact that I remember my older brother talking about Kid G as an old schoolyard rumor being real is honestly shocking as hell. I just thought Kid G was just some wild thing they made up for this game. That's, yeah, like Mew under the truck kind of thing. Was there, like, oh, I want to know more. Was there just an old rumor that... There was a guy named Kid G, a goblin, like Test Zero. I would like to know more. Uh, over here. All right, we'll do the second one and then we're gonna continue onward. Um, yeah, I think that's fine. Right, or, um, I don't know if there's another faster, fast travel. It looks like this isn't it, but we'll see. Like Sonic and Smash Bros. Mm hmm. Well, EGM made those rumors just blow the hell up with their very convincing photoshops for the day. They did an April Fool's joke that you can unlock Sonic and Tails in Smash Bros. Melee. Is that. Okay. That's a different glowy rock than the summon glowy rock. Uh. Uh, just that way. I th think I drop down and then go around into there? It's a little bit hard to tell. Whee! Summer fully by that has something to do with collecting all the soldier figurines, and it did a thing. I have to ask my brother again. Wow. That's awesome, if that's the case. Hello. This is truly strand type. I this I wish, I wish I had player made bridges and stuff. Hello. Yoink. All right then, let's start looking for those craggy cactuars. Craggy. 
real, real craggy. That away. All right, back in the van. All right, kids. The ice cream machine's down. We gotta go try another McDonald's. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. Ba ba da ba 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 ba. Me avoiding all the combat here, which I should be doing. Um, you know what? This this is this is probably better on foot. More of the dune buggy sections in Jack Three, yeah. I know what you mean. Whoa, okay. Man, Jack Three. I was not as into Jack Three as I was One and Two, which is probably a very commonly held feeling. But there was some neat stuff in there. Jack 2 was probably one of the first open world games that just kind of consumed my life for a while. Bum, 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 bum. Same. Mm -hmm. It's not to be as good as it is. Man, there is a part of me that hopes Naughty Dog makes a new Jack, but the gaming industry has changed so much since the PS2 era. I don't even know what a modern Jack and Daxter would look like. In terms of gameplay. That's the wrong button, actually. I just wanted to port them. Yeah. We could really do use some some decent modern ports. I don't know if they've made a decent port since the PS3. I was looking into it a while ago, and like there there is a way to play it on the PS5, I think, but it's not great. Um They're too busy remaking Last of Us to do that. Yeah. They gotta remake it again. Uh where where am I going? It's that way. The way I'm pointed. So, just nowhere here. Cool. There's a PS2 upscale bundle they try to fool you into thinking is HD. Gotcha. I mean, I don't need a ground up. I don't need to play Jack and Daxter with Daxter having a realistic fur shader, you know? I'm fine with something much simpler. Yeah. <laughs> Let me check out play Infamous and Infamous 2 is the PS3. I never really got an Infamous. I feel like maybe Infamous 1 was the first <laughs> the first open world fatigue that I felt. Where like everyone I know was like, this game's rad, and I played it a little bit at a friend's house and was like, it's not bad. I just I'm okay. Three times three mask performers are stuck. Yeah, that's what really sucks. They're gold! Ah, shit. I got you. Yeah. Botanical field fiends of the succulent variety. Their golden burnish and fleet footedness have inspired some to refer to them as the gilded bullets of the sands. And then from physical like to be commits pressure them typically too fast to strike to be subject to attacks and pressure. Yep. Get him, Kate. Get him. Let's ride. Get him. Get him. Yeah, get him. Fog him up. Fog him up, Kate Sith. Uh, dodge and dodge. Wait, no. Fortune telling. Boom! Mastered it. He fights like big the fucking cat, the fucking thing. Hey Barrett, uh, do do this. You couldn't warn me. I'm going to die. All right. This thing have a zipper? Mm -hmm. Even though it's like a. What are you mm -hmm. waiting for? Go on, touch it. Ladies first. Oh no, you're way better at the whole putting yourself in harm's way thing. Fine. If there's a seam on the costume who's in it, a slightly smaller Moogle. Are you kidding me? Why? Me? Word of advice? Don't fight it. Yes, heed the voice of experience. 
What's the third one going to do to Red Skeleton? It's going to be like the Smash Brothers what hacks. Do do to this? Where they put Bayonet Bayonetta's <laughs> animations on Pikachu's model. So you got Pikachu all fucking stretched out and doing all these weird animations. It's going to be like that. Um, wait, let's heal up. And... Oh, baby. That's nice that Magnify works even out of combat. Everybody's healthy now. Oh, it's... Oh, uh, yeah. Oh. What happens to Red? We'll never know. Or at least we won't know until later, because... Apparently, you can only do these two. I didn't unlock a fast travel to there. Eh. What if? What if? Oh, they won't let me call the buggy here. I was like, what if I call the buggy and then just drop it? Drive it off a cliff. That's neat. It's just like Mario Sunshine. <laughs> you can see Costa del Sol. It's just like Rico Harbor. Turns Kitchi into a ficus. Oh, no. It's a very good remix of that theme, of the wall market theme. <laughs> Creepy Uncle Mario from this Mario Maker. <clears throat> yeah. Call the buggy. You cannot ride the buggy here. Watch me. You make me stand still and hit the button anyway? Just, ha just pop up the thing. Why do I have to wait for Cloud to hit the button? What about here? Okay. I get that you need enough room for it to get summoned in, but... It's weird that it... Oh, right. There's these guys. Welcome aboard the Toyota Fuckster. The latest in automotive functioneering. It can eat any mountain and consumes all vegetation you drive over in order to power its 20 turbo diesel engines. Buy one today. Available at your local friendly dealer or wherever automobiles are sold. Like Walmart. The car to combat all those pesky EVs. Just drive over them. The boxer goblin rumors documented by Web 1.0. The old web. Show me the- oh my god, this is some Web 1.0. Boxer is a goblin that resides on Goblin Island. There's supposed to be a way to get him to join you. So far, I've not been able to get him to do this much, less even find the one that's supposed to join you. Personal opinion, I've fought these forever and have not once gotten some goblin named Boxer. Who knows? Maybe it's very, 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 very rare. Status, false. Proven. So this is like a list of rumors. Sephiroth rumors. Young Cloud. Joe. There's a way to make Joe, the rider of the gold saucer, join your party. Man, I, I miss this era of internet rumors. Before a game was released and then day one data mined <laughs> and all mysteries were laid bare. And people being like, oh, I, I, I this my friend told me you can get Joe in your party and he rides a chocobo in battle and you can get a boxer goblin to join you and he fights you and stuff. And he's just standing there. I mean, there's a lot that's been valuable that's come out of data mining. It just seems like day one, people get into a lot of games and just lay everything out there. And it's like, it removes it removed some of this, the mystique around it. I hate that he's just fucking standing there. That's why I'm genuinely amazed he exists. Yeah, so apparently there was a rumor in the 90s that there was a boxer goblin that could join your party and uh, you know. Sure took you long enough. What hey, boss prims. Want to jump right into your second trial? Good luck with the Bellatro. Hm. Deer spec and scroll smash the driving machine. Can you narrow? You know how this ends. <laughs> Apex put a Do fake upcoming legend and then killed him. That's cool. Whoa. Holy crap. <laughs> Let's see. Who looks fit to fight? Ooh, me. Can I give it a go? Uh-oh. <laughs> Fine uh, by me. Uh-oh. If the little lady wants to show off, I say let her. Oh, she's not very strong. Oh, no. Aerith's trial introduces two new species of cactuars to conquer. Light twars and dark twars? Press L2 to conjure an anti-light luminous ward and R2 
for an anti-dark dwarf shadow ward. Basic attacks performed within these wards are more e e efficacious, efficacious against the aforementioned cactuars. So, the light L2 is good against light. R2 is good against dark. It's not like the light one's good against dark, etc. It matches them. Cactuars of other affinities may appear going forward. Keep your elemental wits about you as you fight. This is going to go great. Item Master Material Earrings. That is nice. But I just need a thousand points, and that's all I care about. The door to dark darkness. There are two cactuars inside you, and they're both firing 1,000 needle into your soul. Oh, light bars. Yeah, get. Get the light bars! I don't know if it's worth it to get a Tempest going. Get him! Yeah, they're so small! Time bonus! Get him! Oh, big laugh! He's magic. No. Um. What do I have? What do I have? Uh. Sorcerer Storm? That didn't do anything. Okay. Uh, 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 try this again with him closer to me. Damn it! No, don't! Shit! You fucker! What am I supposed to be using against them? Can we freeze this enemies who strike you? That might be worth it. Stop running! Okay. Jesus. All right. Uh. Oh, that's a dark war. Fuck. Damn it! Spine explosion? No, no. Well, we have enough points, so if we have one, as long as I don't take a million points of damage. Uh, stops projectiles sounds really good against these guys. Never mind! Jesus! Fucking hell. Can you guys fuck up? Um, hello? Oh. Keep it going. Oh my god, he's fast. He... Okay. No, no, don't body slam. <laughs> that was amazing. He just stood still. Oh, fuck, that's funny. No, no. I almost got 2,500. It's not bad for a first try. Um. There he goes. While you were in your menus, they studied the getter ass from behind. Yeah. Yeah, they really did. Hey, you doing, Katie? Hey, if you just got here, welcome to the best character in FF7 Rebirth. Wow. You sure showed me. And I still thought you might be no better than a bunch of bumbling bandits. Ta-da! We done now? <laughs> Not even close. You've still got two more pieces to collect, and they won't come easy. 
Ah, but I could use a bit of time to shore up the next trial, seeing as you kind of breezed through the first two. How's about we put things on pause? Here, give me your contact info. That way, I can hit you up when the trial's good and ready. What? I'm giving him Chadley's number. Cloud, I think it would be wise to oblige his request. How does he type with boxing oh, gloves on? Perfect. You'll be hearing from me soon. Peace. Our hunt is on hiatus. For the time being, I'm afraid our only viable course of action is to await further instructions. Oh, those are just the skins. I love strong bad. What? What? Hello? Oh. Okay. That's H. I thought I was gonna talk to you like, hey, hey, buddy. I got some intel. You might be interested. You up, Kid G at 2 a.m. Kid G at 2 a.m. be like, hey, hop on Apex. I gotta do my dailies. Cloud. Cloud, will you be my drop master, Cloud? I've used up all of my Apex knowledge. All right. We're done until he decides to text us. Let's head to the south. Uh, here. Is Kid G Viz? Maybe Kid G is partially Viz. I appreciate if you proofread your emails before you send them to me. Wow, damn, he got us. Call the buggy to the south. I guess they wait until you do the second gold saucer bit before they open up the rest of the Puerto Relic? That makes sense to me. Alright, to the south. I love driving south. Feels like driving downhill. Well, you're in a big truck, and the truck is made of wood. I said the big truck's made out of wood because uh, it's a truck. How the fuck do I go south from here? There's a wall! Well, I'm in a big truck, and I don't know how it goes. Hey, Cloud, turn it down. I'm driving a truck. Big truck. The truck is made out of truck. Hey, bud. I sees you. I got you. I got you right here. Check this out. Well, yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. All right, all right, here's your reward, little man. I'm gonna grab your head and shake it around. How's that sound? Yeah, that's what I thought. I do like that the entire party just stands there staring and watching that every single time Cloud has to bend down and shake his little head. Um, if I was a path that went south, I would definitely be like over here. Whoa. No, no, that's a lot of cactuars and shit. No, don't fight me. Don't fight. Everything's fine. I'm in a big truck, and the truck is made out of truck. Bow, 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 bow. I'm in a big fuck you truck. I don't want to talk to my fan. This big fuck you truck is a big fucking lot of truck. Um. Where, is this where we fought Dine? How did I get over here? What? No, stop. How did I get... How do I go south? Is it the... Is it the... Is it literally just over the... Maybe it's over there. Okay, well... Let's try this again. Cosmo Canyon soon? I, I think if memory serves, Cosmo Canyon's after Gongaga. I've got a big truck in the truck. He's got a truck inside of it that's slightly smaller. I could take that small truck and take it out on excursions. Damn, bam, bam. Uh, can I just follow this here? So-called free thinkers when someone says, Go what is that? Glowy rocks. I'm being, okay, no. I ignore the siren song of other things. We gotta go! We gotta go Gungaga! 
Nico Gangaga. Is this, is this good? This seems good. Yeah, this seems good. Here we go. All right, folks, keep those eyes peeled. Peeled for what? For a jungle, that's what. The reactor's nestled deep in the heart of one. If that's the case, I think we're still a long ways off. Slow. Can this handle a jungle? Well, we'll soon find out, won't we? Hello, hello. How you doing? Lightning McQueen looks good. Just past these shallows. Gungaga. Chat one Gungaga. Eh. Eh. A little water in the engine always did her good. Hey, up ahead. Is that our jungle? Indeed it is. Hold on, little Miss Narset. We're almost there. Hooray. She's fine. We made it. Gungaga region. I think I'm gonna hurl. Bit overgrown for the poor old buggy. We'll need to carry on on foot. Oh, yeah. I meant to say, there's a village up this way. Fancy popping in? The reactor's not going anywhere, and I bet we could all do with a wee cat nap, eh? Sure, uh, that's... Uh-huh. Cloud, you okay? I just, I feel like I've been here before. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Kate said it's pretty good. Summon Entity Kujata. Oh. Oh, you get that way later in the original. That's kind of neat. I'm going to miss my really good song about driving a truck. I'm sure off chat is... Distraught. There's more of those. Um. Bump, bump. Bump, bump, bump. Ooh. Oh, these are good. Oh, these are good. Four materia slots and a bunch of stats. I'll buy one of each. Yeah, those are all good. Subversion. Disempowerment. Resistance to inst instant death. He's breaching the spell. Yeah, I don't really know what that's all about. A truck hammy? Note to self. Find a Hamilton song that sounds like it's about a truck. Gogong is such a stupid name. Hey, be nice. People are from there, you know. Like all of chat. <laughs> Everyone's... Me? Gogaga. Um, Who wants that equipment? Maybe Cloud. Maybe cloud plus thirteen plus six. Oh yeah, he's an outlaw. There you go, buddy. Um, Barrett, you are possibly ooh. Hmm, it's a very slight upgrade. Someone's probably can take a bigger. That's pretty good. Plus one, plus twenty-five. No. Um, plus six, plus thirteen. Maybe Yuffie gets. Maybe Yuffie gets. There's a name for Tifa also. Uh, yeah, let's give it to Yuffie. Beep, 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 beep. Bump, 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 bump. All right. Um, and then... Huh? Huh? Uh, I could slap morph on him. Maybe it... Do I have an HP up? I don't have an HP up on Cloud. So I could... Give him one of these. Maybe the second one from Barrett. Because Barrett really doesn't need two. Um, and I should give someone else the other... Healing I have. Maybe Barrett. Maybe Kate Sith. Uh, oh, he leveled up. Um, max MP by three... Increase the defender edition of inflicted detrimental status effects by 25%. Damage dealt by basic attacks by 5%. Raises damage. Yeah. Maybe we just do that. Um, Did he unlock his thing? He did. So I could switch back. Plus 9 for minus 7. Yeah. Yeah, we do that. And we have a lot more materia slots. So that seems worth. Moogle draws attention more easily. Reduces damage taken by Moogle. Increases luck by 100 while riding the Moogle. Hmm. Increases damage dealt by Moogle. Slightly increases MP regeneration. How about we get my lucky jockey? 
and reduces damage that you keep them out there longer. Um, and then we'll give you the other heal. Red has the other healing. Hmm. 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 I'm going to keep Barrett around for now until he gets his next level up, and then I might put Red back in. So maybe we just put this on him. He can revive the dead. That's good. That seems really good. Um, yeah, Wynn's got level two on there. And uh, and an HP up. Why not? We got a bunch of those rolling around. Okay. And then the last thing is... Well, Tifa also has a weapon up. All right. I do want to use Kate Sith, but... Um, I, I like having things be uh, proficient. So, Dragon Claws was what now? Star Shower, follow up with an offensive ability or spell. So I want to try to do it with two ATB to do more efficient. Okay. And then the last thing is I'm assuming Kate Sith's got a bunch of points. He sure does. And Cloud has some points too. Do you need a license to revive the dead? You just kind of do it. You just kind of got to have the right material. Or know a guy. Melee Blade. Wait. I was saving up with Cloud. I was like, don't just put points in the first thing. I wanted to work my way over here to the ATB recharge rate. So, I don't know if this is all I need, or if I need both sides to get there. Regardless, I'll just work my way up there. Wait. Okay, Sith. Um, Soldier Moogle class. Cloud hops aboard Kate Sith's Moogle and lends his sword to deliver fearsome slashes. I really... Mm, this is good. Gives weapon ability damage by 3%. Increase crit damage by 5%. Increase max HP, always good. Increase max MP, reduces damage taken by Moogle. Lightning for free. Um, recover HP when dealing damage with unique abilities to a staggered enemy. Hmm. And wind for free. Reduces uh, elemental damage. I like that. That's pretty neat. HP when dealing damage to staggered. And then... Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Weapon ability damage. Damage always good. And then... Reduces damage. Let's just give him HP. Just think give him HP. Alrighty then. Ice for free with Barret. Or... Yeah. Unleash Lightning for free. Increases Limit Gauge charge rate by 5% upon staggering an enemy. Yeah. Yeah, I want that. I'm hoping... I mean... Presumably, you could just grind even post-game, but it would be nice to have enough SP to max out these boards. Seems like that's probably the way it works. I'm not going to worry about them too much just yet. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Sith can be fragile. I'm not sure why. Um, Could just be his starting stats or just squishy. Or are they still in the move or low defense? Could be both. Into the jungle. Into the jungle. Yeah. We made it to Gongaga down here. Gongaga. Moogle's his own HP bar. Right. But when the Moogle dies, it just disappears and you can spawn it back in with an ATB. So it doesn't seem... It's more about having him around for the abilities because you're sacrificing mobility when you're riding him. That's cool. See the structures in the distance. Neat. We made it to Gongaga. Ooh. Wasn't expecting this for the music. This is neat. You want to give him the audio unique ability material then? It's not a bad idea. I'll consider it. Generally, I found I didn't like them doing abilities on their own because I... I don't mind swapping between the characters to have them do stuff while they have ATB up. And when they're doing it automatically, I'm like, wait, I wanted you to do a thing and you don't have ATB now. Barbara Baraga. Barganga. It's pronounced Gongage. Not bad. Hey, Gay. What is it? If you're serious about wanting to be our new best friend, 
Hope I've given us some insider info. Well, it is dirty laundry you're after. Yeah. I have heard whispers about the new president's proclivities. You wouldn't believe how much he spends on those fancy suits. Oh, why did I even ask? Thanks. Oh boy, a tower. Chadley loves this. Eh, eh, eh. Eh, yep. Damn it. Frogs! Uh-oh, 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 Are people frogs already? Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Son of a... Damn it. Cloud, please. Fright? What the fuck is that? Uh, Barrett has been poisoned. Let's do this. Oof. Uh, uh, Allow me. It's weak to fire. That makes sense. Frog's weak to ice. I have also been poisoned. Ah! Hey, Barrett, are you still a frog? He's still a frog. Okay. I got this. Uh, blast him. Wait. Wait. No escape, that's it. Keep it together. It's on you. Uh, Don't Tifa needs now. to. She's got both things. Good. So do this. And then as soon as that's done, hit him with the dive kick. Nice. Oh my god. Tifa's good. I don't know if anyone knew this, but Tifa's strong. Chat is now frog. I thought they were just going to instantly turn us all into frogs and it's going to be game over. But you can attack as a frog, so that significantly lowers the threat of frogs from the original game. Where uh, you could easily get stuck, get turned into a frog, and you're just stuck as a frog and you can't do anything. Gong ga 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 gong gong ga ga. Right. Slow motion frog eat. What happened here? Cloud. There are pockets within the gun gong. <laughs> I didn't know. Despite Holy being shit! Hold on. If anyone is capable of evading detection by Republic Tech, it must be Shinra. Yes. Furthermore, as we have yet to detect a proto relic, I suspect these issues may be related in some manner. I've marked the previously mentioned pockets on your map. And remember, when surveying, safety first. Wait, so there are pockets I have to explore before I can get access to the proto relic? Oh, no, it's just part of the proto relic quest. I see. Okay, uh, real, real quick. Um, yeah. I didn't. Uh, Barrett has been poisoned. <laughs> On the left side of the... Over, over, watch uh, over here. You. Yep. <laughs> it's really good. Uh, Barrett has been poisoned. See you later. Oh, 07. See a space cowboy. He got punted. Uh, all right. I really, the only thing I wish is that there's a choir in this song going Gongaga every now and then. Maybe even like Gongaga, you know, just like spacing it out. He ribbit the dust. I. <laughs> there, there is, there is like singing in this, but I don't think they're saying Gongaga. Maybe they are. Wait. Yep. Another thing is, if memory serves, the original FF7, Gongaga was an entirely optional spot. 
You had to pass by it to proceed to Cosmo Canyon. But it was I don't think it's ever required to actually go in. They say Jumbo Matumo. That's like Gongaga. We Any the entire OST. It's so good. It's so very good. Two sprigs of oregano. What? So, I know you've been ratting on us to Shinra. Telling him where we are, you furry fraud. Guilty! I knew this cat had two faces. Ah, come on now. I'm only feeling your leg. Who are you kidding? You were literally built by the company. Probably stuffed you full of teeny tiny listening devices. Teeny tiny? The late president believed that bigger was always better. Small went against his philosophy. Doing well, huh? Some nine to five nobody you are. Sure your name ain't Stamp? Pretty sure. Hi. Might want to check. Okay. They I want to watch Kate Sith climb the rope. Y'all coming up here? No. Dang it. I want to watch him climb up. Maybe if I run up ahead, that'll convince them to follow. Oh, there's Red 13. Someone did have to figure out how Red 13 climbs a rope on the animation team. And that that makes sense. That's not that's not the silliest way I could imagine he could do that. That kind of makes sense. Kind of. Not fully, but kind of. Here it comes. Alright, who's next? This is really important. Oh, there it goes! Oh, good lord, he is taking his time. By God, he really do be climbing the rope. There, there he is. God, he's just a little guy. Whoop. Nice jump, buddy. Cappy climbing the rope. I don't know if we need to watch Aerith climb up in Yuffie. That's probably much more normal. Yeah. Oh, she doesn't even use her legs. Damn. Look at her go. And she's fast, too. That's kind of great. Hey, Aerith. You climbing? Yeah, she's climbing. Whoa, look at her. Damn. I underestimated Aerith's upper body strength. That's on me. That's on me. That's fair. Damn. Also not using her legs. Holy shit. Okay, damn. Alright. Let me, let me grab this thing. Me? Kujata. On International Women's Day, I know. I'm double sorry. She's been carrying the team long enough. Doesn't want to get her dress dirty, so she climbs with just her arms. Oh, God. Yeah. Bum, 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 bum. That's not so bad. Look at him! Look at Kujata back there. Ba, 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 ba. Easy. Nailed it. He's in the crystals. Great. Don't talk to me about it, Chadley. Don't talk to me about it. Don't talk to me about it, Chadley. What is there to say that hasn't been said? Analysis complete. I managed to extract the necessary data from the crystal. This should allow me to strengthen your materia. I don't know this guy because he's in 436. No, there's a lot. Seven has a lot of summons. And as someone that hasn't played that many Final Fantasies, and the ones I have played are like, oh, you you mean summons? Okay, well, we have Shiva, Titan, Bahamut, and Ifrit. And like, maybe Phoenix. And then Seven's like, hold on. Rolls up sleeves. I got all kinds of crazy shit in here. What do you want? Like, there's so many. Cool, weird summons in seven. 
I kept finding stuff in the game. Because summons in the original just show up like normal material. You just find them. Or some of them are rewards for doing stuff. Pujari you just find in the woods, I think. What are you? What are you? Amphidex. I got your number. Yep, that's a frog. Chimera Mimic. Amphidex. And the powerful offensive to pressure them. Amphidex weak to ice. There's a Chimera Mimic in there? Don't overdo it. Don't let the frog do frog things. Yeah. Nice. There we go. Do your thing. And then follow it up with a dive kick. Mastered that. Sweet. Hell yeah. Regular cure. Nice. The summons in 10 are close to my heart. I don't remember how summons worked in 10. It's been too long. Never finished it. Uh, okay. So now we can put together the party that we want. But also... Do, 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 do. Plus 24 to minus 5 magic. Yeah, that seems good. And I'm foregoing one linked slot, but that's okay. Uh, Tifa definitely wanted to get you off that, because only one materia slot, man. That's rough. Uh, yeah, back to Kaiser, methinks. Minus 31 to attack is rough. Minus 1 is not as bad as minus 13 to magic. I'll take it. All right. And then I want Kate Sith back in the party because he's silly. Um, and maybe red? And maybe red? This is a good party. Me and me and the lads. Me and the lads. <laughs> I like video game. I like video game. I like that this can be my party now. I like this. Too much of the remake was just like Cloud Tifa Barrett, you know? And now, now finally, after how many dozens of hours, can I just experience peak? It's boys night here on International Women's Day. We finally have boys night. We've done it. Oh my God. Goofy squad, let's go. Silly, silly lads night. Uh. Jungle of Gongaga. 300 meters this way. Equip Cloud the accessory starts him as a frog during combat. There you go. Then we've reached peak. Peak Final Fantasy. Hey, what's that? I don't need... I figured it out. I don't need you to tell Did me. Did you know, Cloud, that forest chocobos use mushrooms as springboards? Yeah, I, I didn't know that, but I saw that there was an icon of a chocobo and a big animated up. So I, I figured it out, but thank you, Chadley. There's a materia. A blue one, no less. Note to self. Come back here once... Once I have a chocobo. Come along. The village of Gongaga awaits. It's about time. I'm freaking starving. Gongaga. <laughs> Maybe our lucky food will be on the menu. Mushrooms. I was like, what is she talking about? Mushrooms. Oh, <gasps> Gongaga! Are these? They are! Gongaga mushrooms! They may be hard to come by in Midgar, but here? Here you can't move for the blasted things. Wow. Hmm. Is there an option to turn off Chadley? Is there really? I should look. Passing through. Gongaga. I know the password. You. What? Uh, nothing. For a second, I thought you were someone else. <laughs> and its options turn off Sephiroth. Who are you, people? Hi. You'll do. More importantly, why are you here? 
Not to survey the reactor, I presume. Oh, no, just to study it. We're on a wee field trip, you see? <laughs> we shh. Well then. Oh. Welcome to Gungaga. I'm Cisne, Coalition Captain. And sorry, didn't mean to startle you before. Just doing our jobs. She's from Crisis Core. Back to your posts. Ma'am! Ma Us? Gungaga. You'll get a clear view of the reactor from that hill. Make sure to pay your respects, though. Of course! <laughs> you know, on. like Mia. You're kissing her on the mouth. Is that how you celebrate International Women's Day? Alright. Fast travel's unavailable. The hill's this way. Okay, I wanna you explore coming? Gungaga. Our village is a quiet one, as you can tell. She was Let's a Turk and Zach's friend. Way. She was a Turk? Oh. Don't get a lot of visitors, what with the jungle. Can't even remember the last time. But that's part of this place's charm, I suppose. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> this is a safe place to lose your mind. Welcome. Oh. 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 Ago, the reactor here suffered a catastrophic failure. It was old and couldn't handle the stress. It needed maintenance, which Shinra never provided. And then one day. So, they're cheap as well. Huh. This was the company's way of trying to make amends. I'm surprised they even made the effort. And thanks to the hard work of our people, Gongaga rose from the ashes, right? <laughs> That's nice and all, but one memorial doesn't buy absolution. You guys must be tired. I know you've got things to do, but if you wanted to rest up... Wouldn't they say no? My house is just down there. Got an open door policy, so feel free. Woohoo! Don't mind if I do! No. I'm, uh, gonna take a look around. Seriously, get some rest, okay? Me, Snorgaga. Honkshu, me, 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 Gaga. New Queen's Blood players are wait. Oh boy. Those Gungaga mushrooms you found? They're all yours if you want them. We got more than our fair share. Yeah, Aerith's having a normal one. Oh, oh. God, what? Looks like grandma the fucking thing. That Cisney lassie was right, you know. If Shinra had wanted to, they could have done something about the reactor. But instead, they looked the other way. Willful negligence killed those people. And everyone thinks Avalanche are the bad guys. Sad. Don't push him. <laughs> and... Uh, uh, see you later. Whoa I can't jump back. Oh! Oh! Hey, best friend. Telling species apart can be difficult. What looks like a Gungaga mushroom may in fact be poisonous. For me and my nose, the difference is obvious. But for someone like you, well, let's find out. Which of these do you think they are? Uh, 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 middle, middle. <laughs> Too easy. Too easy. The middle patch. So close, Damn yet it. so wrong. That's a variant. While it's not lethal, it'll leave your skin as modeled as its cap. Son of a... <laughs> Don't believe me? Then by all means, take a bite. The soil here is exceptionally easy on the paws, as if it exudes life itself. Mom, well, they're doing a little dance. It's always three. It was either two or three. I thought they looked more purple than pink. It wasn't one. I knew that. 
Son of a Gungaga. The soil here is exceptionally easy on the paws, as if it exudes life itself. Today, See you. I'm going to teach you about <laughs> they all, all the kids looked over a cloud. About the it's terrible really accident that forever changed Gungaga and her people. I'm sure all of you know about our Mako reactor. Okay. Okay. Me, Gungaga. Me? Gungaga. Us, Gungaga. When it was being built oh. in afterwards, we kept our distance. It was shame, yeah, we get so it. we trusted them to take care of It's it. fucked up. Beautiful Gungaga. Nice little village. What's up? See how they dry their mushrooms here? Bet they'd make for a mean stock. A room? Doubt there's much it wouldn't improve. Soups, pilafs, maybe even a pot roast. What sort of thing would you go for? Uh, pilaf soup. Gonna go with pot ro Soup's good. Soup's good. Can't mess it up. Hey, making a great soup takes hard work, I'll have you know. Ah, oh, shit, she's slightly happier. Oh, no! Peach rooms are a Gengaga specialty. Soup? Soup? Me? Soup Gaga. I go Gaga for that soup. Do you got anything? Oh, I'm aching back. Look at you all go. Oh, I wish I had your energy. Come now, that's enough. Can't you see you're scaring the poor man? Sorry for all that. It doesn't take much for them to get worked up. I'm Jijun, a farmer. I should be hard at work, but my back's forcing me to take a break for a short while. Oh, do you play Queen's Blood by chance? A game would help to pass the time? Nope. Sitting around soaking up the sun is all well and good. That's fine. See you later. Well, you know we're right. Yep. Sorry for running over your cabbages. Boop, boop, boop. Children of the planet, open your hearts to the words of our mother. Beneath your rich, fertile fields, a rot runs deep. Mm hmm. It seeps down. Yeah, uh huh? Gongaga! Is that Detective Pikachu's VA? Uh, maybe. My, my, what a trek you must have made to get here. Yeah. A little bit. Sup? Please browse at your leisure. I'll be right here if you need anything. Uh, me. Meh. Remember, you can't judge a book by its cover. I can and I do and I will. I'm human. They say don't judge a book by its cover, but it's the first thing that you do. I'm not saying you should, but it happens. At your leisure. Right there. Let's see how you see. This oh. is your friendly reminder from the Young Coalition to watch. Sounds good. Damn oh. right. Liquor used to be my vice of choice, but now I can't get enough of this stuff. Oh, wow, what you got here? Hey, someone, that was someone's drink. What are you doing? Damn. Again. If you weren't awake, you are now. Another! Sir, that mug is empty. Another! Thank you. Hey, I got that real strong. Oh my god, why is she here? Playing me would be a waste of both my time and yours. You must be level 8 blood tactician to challenge Regina here. Alright. That ain't me. Oh boy, side quests. Pursuit of perfection. Gongaga Izo Smithery. Not the greatest weapons there was. A weapon? Nah. A cool new weapon? This Man. must be one of Gengaga's famous mushrooms. Hello. 
Hey there. Good to see you again. I didn't get Since you're I here, mind oh. if I snap a pic of a fun guy with some fun guy? Holy shit, snaps. I didn't know you were funny. <laughs> it's, it's mushroom it feels like time passes slower here, especially compared to the city. Everyone seems so at peace. I'd love to get a shot Risen that captures up. the atmosphere. If you come across a spot that might look good in photos, I'd love to hear about it. I bet you would. I bet you would, Snaps, you son of a bitch, you sick fuck. You love them photos so much. All right, see you later. Um, what if, what if, what if, um, there he is. Oh, he is. Cloud? What do you, what do you see? What do you see, Cloud? Find Yuffie? I will. Um, that's lovely. Breaking news. Cloud looks at a mushroom. Simulation. Fungus the, the soul. Coral cactuar. Gongaga jungle. That, now that's a good frame. That's a keeper. There you go. Beautiful. This must More be like one Gonzaga's of famous mushrooms. Only ever seen them in Brazil. Oh god, it's Chadley. Why, hello, Cloud. Did you enjoy your buggy ride? The yeah. tires are reinforced to provide traction and even the most slippery of sands, which means you can explore the dunes at your leisure. This also means you can gather more detailed intel about the desert for me. We're in the jungle! Any questions about world intel? Don't be shy now. Petrify, magic focus, limit siphon. Siphon. Allows you to absorb an ally's limit gauge to fill your own. That is wild. Synergy support. Slight increases synergy when other party members use the synergy ability during battle. Increase synergy by one. Oh. Okay. That's kind of neat. Um. Ah, Chandley. Welcome to Chadley. Yeah, I should probably try these at some point. Um, someone said to look at Kate Sith's tutorial. It does give you a luck up, Materia. Participate in the combat simulator, simulator's training exercises. Learn not only the ins and outs of the battle, how to best utilize each party member. More such exercises become available as new allies join your team. Some of these simulations allow you to use abilities you may not have learned yet. Is this worth doing? A to the uh, it's Alexander. I haven't found any of the things to soften him up, though. And he probably is going to one-shot me. What are you thinking, chat? Should I try some of these, or should we just keep going? I don't know if any of these are crucial. I mean, at least right now. I, I still might want to. Rule like thunder. Titan will be fun. He's impossible at stopping up. Yeah, I... I could die to him so we can see him. Emerge victorious against these mighty entities in the combat simulator. To be rewarded with their summoning material. If an entity is proven too difficult, you can gain advantage by analyzing its corresponding summon crystals found around the world. Oh, you can choose which one. Ew. Yeah, give me... Give me a soft lad. Done. I get all the things to make him weaker. I figure we can just try Titan, because at least we're much higher level than we would be back in the grasslands. But if he kills us, then he kills us. He's neat, though. Stone Gaga is weak to wind. Following your veins from those strings, barrel pressure from under control. Okay. Ow. Oh no. Hey, don't. Hey, don't. No. Oh god. Uh. He dropped him on him, bum. Jesus. All right. Bump, 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 bump. Let's 
do this. Don't do that. Whack. He's pretty beefy. Them. <laughs> I wish you could adjust the animated emotes. Um, that's fine. That's good. Yes. Yes. Yeshiva. Uh, it's fine. Get him. I wondered why Titan doesn't have wheels. He has wheels in 14. Did he drink the jet bike potion? Oops. Let's uh that. Take it over. Oh. Okay. Don't. Don't. It's going all right. I just gotta keep an eye on my health. Certainly if I tried this back in the grasslands, it would have been stupid. No, no, no. E -e. That's fine. Earth and Aegis is almost dead. There we go. Fuck him up! Kick him! Kick him! Pop, 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 pop. Go for it. Get my turn! Damn it. Slightly out of range. Go, go, ah. Take it over. I agree. Storage coming. What? <laughs> Let's do this. Get, get over there. Get over there. Come on. Um, yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. Let's dance, asshole. You can't call Titan an asshole. Take him down. That seems disrespectful. Throw the dog. Wah. Wah. 
Maybe this? That's a lot of stuff. Ah! <laughs> Jesus. That looks fine. Oh! Ow. Keep it together. Go mm. for it. Take it over. No, don't. Yeah. No thwack. Um, bop, 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 bop. Deal with that. My homies love Europa and Io. God damn it. I like my cutscene. I thought my little power up was cool. Um. Maybe, uh. Items cannot be used. Oh! I was like, I'll just use some items. Hmm. No, no. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, blast them, Baron. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, Baron. That was rad. Oh, wait, I'm out of MP. Uh oh. How about. Do that. For me now. All right, that was a little spicy, but I'm all right. I Congratulations see... on toppling Titan. Though legendary, his earth-shattering strength was no match for your own. I'm sure he'll provide you with steadfast support. You're in good hands now, and rather large ones at that. Thanks. I was I look forward to seeing what new discoveries you make in your travels. Thanks. I'm definitely was correct with my assumption. That if I tried Titan as soon as I had the option, he would have rocked my shit. So, uh, anyway. Neat. Now do Phoenix. No! Not without everyone having lots of points of research to soften them up. Hi, Yuffie. I am so, so bored. Bored right out of my brain. If I don't die first, bet y'all go insane. Cause I've got nothing else to do I'm stuck here wasting time But just wait, oh materia I'll get back on the road And make you mine We've been here for 20 minutes, she's so bored <laughs> She's already so very bored I am so... Okay Oh Nice song Funny too. Nice song. Funny too. You wrote it yourself? Gongaga? <laughs> Finally, someone recognizes my genius. Indeed, the amazing Yuffie is also a top tier lyricist. Oh, I've got another song. Wanna hear it? Sure. Here goes. <sighs> I'll search high and low till I've gathered them all. 
I'll have orbs piled up about a billion feet tall. I'll have so much material. I won't know what to do. But until I can make you mine, I'll just patiently wait and dream of you. Great job. Good job, kid. Wow. Oh. oh. Uh, yeah. Or is this going to progress things? I don't know. Maybe I can wait. Japan is just like all my enemies. No, it doesn't. It's safe to rest up. Go see Aerith. Or no, it will progress things, and I should go see Aerith. Or Aerith is what progresses things. I don't even know where Aerith is. Back. Goofy's theme is good. They all have good themes. One person says, gotcha. Thank you for the clarification. Then the old... Eh. The oh, sup? Once things settle down, I could see myself moving out here, living off the land. Be a nice change of pace. <laughs> Just me, Marlene, and our little piece of paradise. <laughs> Wonder what kind of stuff we'd end up growing. Uh, Red Shell. I don't know what these are. Black Millie? Red Shelly? Now hold on there, soldier boy. You do know they're used in love potions, right? Huh? Eh? Huh? They are? <laughs> I ain't playing <laughs> matchmaker for you, son. Dang it. Why not? Yep. Yeah. I'm glad Barrett's doing okay. After everything that happened in Corel. So, so bored, bored by yep. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Marlene.mp3. I said onions didn't like that either. So I guess is mushrooms the answer? Because that's how they grow here. They don't only grow mushrooms here. They just also have a lot of mushrooms. Schwa! Nap time. No, we got a... Who haven't we seen? We haven't- Oh! Oh, this is right here. Yay! Hey, Yuffie! You were sitting next to a cool thing. Here you go. Here you go, kid. Doppelganger! Conjure a clone that can temporarily mimic your actions. Use while airborne. Finish off an enemy where the clone is present. This didn't go well with Johnny. What makes us think it's gonna go well now? Ice lightning, MP recovery up. Crit hit rate up. Crit bam. Go all crit. All crit. Yeah, well, I'm not going to worry about it. Before you fight, the summon ahead sink level, meaning you can't be over level yourself for the fight like in Remake. Don't you fight time without making it weaker. Sword super and killed you. Oh, I know I didn't notice that. So it does sink to your level. So the only thing to soften it up is doing the... Around. I guess that makes sense. They want you to do the open world stuff to make them weaker. So, that fight was as difficult as it would have been if I had done it as soon as I got those two out of three steps. Okay. Gotcha. For the, thanks for the clarification. I totally missed that. Um. Hello? Birds! Can I have a bird? Chocobo, choco, choco, chocobo. Yeah. Same. Treasure hunt. Oh. Can't afford all three parts yet, so I'll save up for now. That's rad. What do you got in here? Stuff. Goodies. Good things. I'm legit tempted to sell some of the things I have 99 of. Because I'm not crafting enough of them. Plants Blessing. I can sell all of them. I don't want to sell all of them. How about just sell, like, 30 of them? Blah, blah, blah. 
Nice. Catch you later. Uh huh. How do I get one? I want one. Probably when we're leaving, which is not yet. The coalition sent a team to investigate the reactor. See what's going on. Those creepy ghosts. Chuck must have their own theme. The I guess. I'm thinking this could finally be our time to shine. Meow. Yeah. All right. See you. Time to get these birds. He was playing in the city. If you want to visit the reactor, you'll have to get Sisney's permission first. Yeah, man. Right, all right. Let's get started with some practice swings. Mm hmm. What? A locked door? How am I supposed to steal all your stuff if the door is locked? Can I get there now? I might not be able to get there now. I want it. I want it. I see a thing. I want it. Gimme, 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 gimme. Can I go swimming? Can I go swimming? Yeah, I'm going swimming. Ostriches have a theme song in real life? Uh, not yet, but you could make one. And then they will. Don't you want to be known as the person that made the theme song for ostriches? Purple. Red megaphone. Perfect. Only two. Uh, oh, they all have two. No, wait, no, that is four. This is zero. Zero materia. Jeebus. What do I currently have on him? Empowerment, revival, wind, HP up. And I guess I can forego all of those. Just max out on luck for now. Uh, turn your Moogle into a ticking time bomb that explodes when it leaves combat. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, and uh, Increase luck by 100 while riding. Increase damage dealt. Increases MB regen. Yeah, I like... Make him a sturdy lad. And I might as well slap Titan on him. Increase the level of the summoning material by, uh, to a maximum of four through crystal analysis. So I don't have Boulder Hurl, but if I go back to Grasslands. Gotcha. Cool. Size medium. Yeah. It's a relatively small um, Titan. I should get Yuffie back in here. Uh, like this, but not... Wait, that button. There you go. Nah. We're putting bombs in the birds now? Not the bird, the stuffed moogle, but yeah. He's fine. He doesn't have feelings about it that we know of. Me gon' ga go. Me gon' ga go. Nice. Yeah, get in there. Get in there, man doing good. So we haven't found Tifa or Aerith yet, right? Animals have been acting strange I bet. Did I go to these shops? Have I been to these shops? Did I run past them? It's to my right. Oh, I don't think we went up here. To the bridge. Take it to the... God, the fucking lighting in this game is my least favorite part. Sorry about that. Was catching up on sleep. Mm-hmm. It's just so aggressive. No one has anything. Gotcha. Okay, well, I mean, I guess that means I haven't missed any items. Or weapons, rather. So that's good. <laughs> What's the lore behind different Final Fantasy world worlds having the same summons? I don't know. Don't think about it. What's the matter, Oscar? Do you want to play a game? Oh. I might have to lose to this bird. Hi. Oh. Eh. There isn't one. It's, it's, it's... Okay, okay. I'll see if I can find you a Queen's Blood player. But after that, you've got to get to work. I consider it the same thing as Zelda. It, it Before there was a confirmed Zelda timeline, because I don't like it. <laughs> Where it's just like... 
they, there's similarities and there's differences. What's it's the just matter, Oscar? don't think about it too Do you much. Play a it's game? fine. It's like Hyrule and Zelda. It's every version's different. There's different worlds, different rules, but there's some things that just show up. It doesn't. I don't know. Don't get me started. Ah, you there? Don't ask how I can tell, but you're into Queen's Blood, aren't you? Isn't that great, Oscar? I found someone you can play against. Oscar. Let me introduce you. This is Oscar the Swift. He's a watch chocobo. A huge Queen's Blood fan, too. He gets cranky if he can't play at least one game a day. Oh. So, how about it? Mind going around with him? I don't want him to be cranky. All right. Pull me in. How can a bird play cards? Looks good. All right. I go Levicron. Top, top lane. An arch dragon right off the bat? I passed, man. Damn. Damn, dude, I can't come back from this. Well played. Well played. Honestly, I can't be mad. Our Oscar's pretty smart, isn't he? He's a smart bird. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I'll see if I can. He can't. Now he's not cranky today. No one fine with that with the episode remix during parallel timelines and universe shit. It's not a legitimate question. Cosmology. No, it is. <laughs> you can ask how the other FF7 related games connect. I think that's a fair question. But asking what's the connection between FF7 and FF6 is like. This is that? I don't know. Remember, but both games have a Sid, and actually, I don't even know if Six has a Sid. I think Six has a Sid, and they're played Six. Again, it's a game. It's only a game. Don't use your brain. Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh. Where is other? I didn't go into the general store. Shit. There's always a Sid. That way their meat will be all good. I'm pretty sure that there's some Final Fantasies since the first one with a Sid that have not had Sid. Most have a Sid, as far as I know. I think I overshot it. God damn it, this fucking town. I like to think of these things. I don't. <laughs> so, I don't mind if you want a theory craft, but if you ask me how they connect, I'm going to go they don't. I'm going to pop the ball and walk away. So, well, maybe you haven't. That's that's Maybe my you know answer. I, I I don't want to yuck we you don't stop it. If you think it's fun, sundries. I'm happy for you. We sell materia too. They sell materia. I don't want to yuck your gum. If you think it's fun, then more power to you. I hope you find people that enjoy talking about that. But I'm just like, I'm so sick of all of the, like, it's like the MCUification, which like obviously the Marvel world of comics was connected from like the get go, decades and decades ago. It's not a new phenomenon for comics to be in a shared world. Um, I'm a, might as well. Um, but I love the no fuck you rule improv. It's not improv. It's 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 a different thing. I, I find a lot of shared universe stuff feels limiting to me. When it's a fantasy Can magical world, some fresh? to be like, you ever heard of that it couldn't be less interesting to me. There are exceptions, no but I think that there is a, a level of like, I don't know if it's if it's fandom or just like media, how people choose to con uh, to consume the media that they have. For me, it's like the worst case scenario is when you go, okay, but if all Final Fantasies are in a shared cosmology and there's connections between them, if this one does this, why does this do this? Shouldn't they not? That's not an interesting question to me. They're both neat because they did different things is way cooler to me. And it becomes limiting, and it feels like it's putting it more into a box. When it, I'm not saying that's what you're doing, but I've seen enough of that dialogue Every online then, where it's like, how come in this Zelda game familiar? it's like this, but in this one's like this? But if it's after it in the timeline, what happened? It's like, I, I don't care. I like that they put a bunch of neat stuff in the game, and I take it on its own. I don't like it connecting to a thing that makes it feel smaller. So that's why I get annoyed about it, and I'm just like, I don't care. I want to just enjoy it and be like, look at all the neat stuff they put in here. They got materia. And that's unique to seven. The other games do other stuff, and it's neat. And then when a new FF set, when a new Final Fantasy, like playing 16, yeah, it has summons, but they're icons, and their connections to the world is tied into the politics. Like, I don't know other Final Fantasies that do that with their summons. It's cool. It's unique. It's the different take on it. I think that's cool. It's one of the things that's stronger about the Final Fantasy franchise is that each sliver of Final Fantasy has its own spin on some of these familiar ideas. 
So, I think that's a cool thing. And and it just I just get so frustrated. And this isn't targeted at anyone in chat. It's just like the it's come up as I've played a bunch of games over years of streaming. Um, oh, there's Earth. It, I know I've got FF7, but um, I, I think I, I think it's neat when they're different. Everyone's saying ten is the best. Like there's a different one you pick. Yeah, that's one of the strengths of the franchise. Every stream is a Barry Rant hour waiting in the sidelines. Oh, X is a variable. I thought you were like, yeah, people like 10. 10's neat. I love the vibe of 10. My my biggest problem with 10 is I thought that Xanarkand was more cool than like the the, the other world that they go to. And I was like, I want to go back to Xanarkand. It was weird like sci-fi weird stuff. I thought it was funky. Hey man, you're just gonna stand in someone else's house and stand across the room staring at their piano. All right. Cinco de Chocobo. I have a D&D &D world. Multiple planes of existence are important to each other. Oh, for sure. And I have no problem with a, with a world being made. Oh, right. She was here. Imagine eating Gangaga mushrooms every day. Now that's luxury for you. I just don't care for retroactively putting a multiverse where it didn't belong. Damn. I'm the way that really did not like 10, but love 13. I had never got into 13 either. I, I'd never played 13. I think we're ready to talk to Aerith. Um, but, yeah. The number? The fifth Chocobo. Looks like Sis mentioned the first FF game. Really? He's in the very first one. Why'd I walk away from her? Because I wanted to make sure I was done doing other stuff before we progressed. I think we're good. Go on, Gaga. All the 13 games. In shrink wrap. Oh, anyway, hi. I'm gonna shut up and play a game. Friend of yours? Come in. Oh no! Please. Oh no! Mm. Oh no! Your eyes. You're a soldier, aren't you? Um, was. You wouldn't happen to know our son, would you, Zach? <laughs> Are you all right? Fine. What did you say his name was? Zack. Zack Fair. Zack Gongaga? Zack? Sorry. No. <sighs> Zack has his dad's just hair. up and left one day, determined to chase his dreams. At first, he wrote us all the time, but... When I first saw you, I thought, maybe this is the girl he was always talking about. No. Sorry if I made you feel uncomfortable. I doubt I was the only woman in his life. Charming guy like Zack. <sighs> <sighs> Wherever he is, I hope he's enjoying himself at least. They do say no news is good news, right? They sure do. Say, if you do happen to see Zack, would you tell him that we miss him and to please get in touch? Of course I will. Zack has his dad's hair and his mom's gungaga. We should probably be heading back, don't you think? What? Already? At least have something to eat before you go. Thanks, but we don't want to keep our friends waiting. <laughs> Another time, then. <laughs> have some mushroom soup. It makes for a lovely soup. Here. <sighs> this scene hurts in the original, man. When they look like fucking Roblox guys. Sorry. Every time someone says they're from Midgar, we can't help but hope that person knows our son. A couple of bumpkins like us often forget it's a big city. Big city, Midgar. All this talk of another war has me worried. But I know I'm not the only mother afraid for her son. His dad looks like Harrison Ford. A little bit. He's got that Gongago riz. Sorry. 
Every time someone says they're from a couple of bumpkins like Sorry, us, I forget go ready. it's a big city. I want to go upstairs. You also, have, you also have any material in the kitchen? All right. Have a good one now. Hey. Riz Gaga. It's a powerful spell. That wasn't very nice of me. <laughs> you remember me telling you about Zack, right? At the playground? How he was my first love? Yeah. He doesn't remember. This is where he grew up. And now that I'm here, it's... a lot. So when I saw someone who looked like him, I don't know. I had to say something. Didn't even occur to me to think how they would feel about it. Pretty selfish, huh? Waltzing in there, stirring up memories. Uh, you're too hard on yourself. You're too hard on yourself. I should be mean to her. <laughs> that it was good for them to get it all out. For Red Thirteen dating purposes, but I can't. I can't bring myself. I hope you're right. So this Zach guy, you still like him? <laughs> wow. You went there, huh? Maybe. He's never given me a reason not to. Damn it, Kitty. Her Advil liquid gel eyes have bewitched and me. Use? Body and soul. Jesus Christ. Nothing. No calls, no letters. Oh. Leaving you out in the cold like this? Forget about that loser. <laughs> Whoa. He's a soldier, right? Then I hate to break it to you. But if he's been gone this long, the man is dead. Cloud? Sorry. I'm gonna go lie down. Well, that clears that up. He definitely doesn't know who Zack is. Another time. Fast travel is now available. Thought you were gonna rest. Yeah, maybe I should. Who am I trying to smooch? Uh, I'm trying to bromance Red 13. Some fine weather we're and we currently have say. the highest level. We got him up to blue happiness Ooh. right now. Fire so. Me. Oh yeah, Tifa was like, well bang, okay. And Earth was like, cool. Catch you later then. It's springtime, boys! And I say we Yeah. Blappiness. He doesn't know, he just painfully twitches every time he's mentioned high. coincidentally. Yeah. And low, till I've gathered them all. I'll have orbs piled up. About a billion feet tall I'll have so much material I won't This game is a throuple agenda A little bit but until They definitely I can make you mine I'll just patiently wait And dream of you She should be robbing you <laughs> I, should, I should walk back and she's just beating the shit out of Chadley And he's like, I'll give you whatever material you want Um yeah, no, I, I feel like that for a game that's not like a, a Bioware RPG, who you gonna bang? They took one bit of the original where you go on a date and made it into an entire ass mechanic. Um, but I feel like they've done a good job of just like rounding out all of the relationships where Cloud 
slash the player can reasonably be like, oh, I want to learn more about this person in a platonic or hmm way. It's not, it's not like explicitly like, oh, Cloud should be with this character and it's weird to talk to this person. It's like, can you date Kate? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. I should see if he has a little symbol over his head, huh? This is tell reason for Yuffie's greed. Until it's time to leave. Uh, yeah. Yuffie's backstory is covered a little bit in Intergrade. But definitely most of her stuff comes from when you go to Wutai, which you can do in the original. Not too long after this, but they said it's not going to be in Rebirth. Are you hearing this? It's coming from the reactor. We gotta check it out. It doesn't exist. Men and women can't be friends. Everyone knows this. I was going to say date the tiny David Tennant, but that's Chill Chuck. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, there's a Dunmeshi episode I haven't seen from yesterday. What am I doing here? Chat, I gotta go. I gotta go watch oh, Dunmeshi. Dungeon Meshi. Bye. See you later. I gotta go watch the anime. The hell? You heard? Hey, you hear that? Is it going? Yeah. Gotta be a weapon. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Wait. Do you know something about this? No. Could say that. Yeah. You've been hearing it for a while? For a few days now, yeah. The Coalition tried to investigate, but some creatures kept us from getting into the reactor. So all they did was fly around. Just the sight of those weird black wisps was enough. More than enough. Wisps? No, ain't that something. Wisps? You could see them. Uh, yeah, of course. They're back? Why? Do you know what they are? Whispers. <laughs> well, this just got more interesting. So, when do we leave? You, young lady, are on guard duty. No, oh, come on. I just want to help out. Be a part of the team. Yeah, because you've been a real team player. Grab her by the scruff. <laughs> Keep an eye on her for us. I'll do my best. Let's just get in, take a look, and get out. Yeah, I thought they were gone. We hadn't seen them since we blew them up in Remake. Figure you, me, Kate, and Red can do that easy. Agreed? <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Kate just pointed at us. Let's go. You guys hold down the fort. <laughs> no fair! No fair! I just got a new weapon for Yuffie. This isn't fair. For weapon proficiency, no. Alright. Well. Alright, it's Lad's night. Happy International Women's Day. Hell? You heard that, right? Bum 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 Boys night, boys night, boys night. The fucking boys! The boys are back in town! These are the boys. This is just like Lord of the Rings the Two Towers. Actually. Lads, 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 lads. Um, this, this way. Hi. The captain filled me in. You can head on through. Thanks for stopping me to say that. Ooh! Immediately distracted. Hmm. Us Barretts are natural sprinters. <laughs> <laughs> Barrett is Gandalf as he has the biggest weapons. Now the whispers are back. Come again? What's a whisper when it's at home? An arbiter of fate. They appear when destiny is about to be altered, and sure it maintains its intended course. I thought we already changed it, though. We did, once. But perhaps now they preside over a new fate. Ours. And that's what you get for being curious. What? Then whose fate were they presiding over in Remake? What? Huh? When I'm huh? When I'm what? 
I'm legit mad the whiskers are back. I've been operating under the assumption. Oh, oh. Oh. The whispers are here. Hmm. That's fine. Um. I'm enjoying because they aren't. Well, it's not that I've been enjoying it because they aren't around. Specifically, um, I've been enjoying it because it means that the the, the, the threats are real. Like within remake, once you understand what the whispers are and what they mean. It's like, well, nothing bad can befall our party. In fact, Barrett gets fucking stabbed and killed, and the whispers go, no, 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 shush, shush, you're fine now. And he's like, huh? And they're like, what? Because the whispers are like, it's not your time to go. How does Sis Day know about the whispers? I mean, we should be able to see them. True. Could be a setup. You think? We'll see. Anyway. Um, so because I, I thought we murdered all the whispers, meaning we were unchained from fate, meaning at any point in this game, things could abruptly deviate from the original FF7. And that's been not only exciting, but like, it's kept the threat real. When you're in a cutscene, when Dine is holding a gun to Barrett, it's like he could actually kill him right now. Like, will they likely? Probably not. But, like, that threat is real now because the whispers are gone. And for the game to be like, actually, they were just resting is like, okay. Okay, I guess. Pet the bait. I didn't pet the bait. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm going back. Thank you for reminding me. I almost, I almost ruined the streak. Gotta get my dailies in. There you go. Shake his stupid little head. He's got a little palm tree palm frond for a butt. Or just like a fern. There you go. Thanks, chat. God, imagine... The first enemy I ran into would have just instant one-shotted me if I hadn't pet the baby. Man, Gogaga, huh? So, I'm, I don't know. I, I guess I'm curious to see what they do with the whispers not being gone. They're protecting the fate of the baby chocobo. This baby chocobo is the key to... We've never done a character like this before. He's the key to all of this. Uh, hoot, hoot. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Um, beep, 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 They'll get you from not petting the baby. They really will. Can I zip line that? No. But I can grab these. I wish I had a chocobo. Probably once we're done with this, we unlock him. Bit washed out. There you go. Based on much running around you're doing with no combat, I'm avoiding a lot of combat. <laughs> As I'm running around, if you see red circles appear, that's my proximity to combat, and I'm just like, I don't, I don't want to be bothered right now, so I'm running away from them because I'm lazy. And I'm gonna get punished for running away from battles if I'm under level. So feel free to get your bar hubrises ready, chat. This is the right way, right? Yeah. Working over there. It's a big old reactor. I'm skipping side content, skipping random battles. Oh, this doesn't seem the right way. Or is it? Or is it? Boy, if there's wreckage all the way out here, this thing really exploded good, didn't it? They definitely sell the scale of this. Which is cool to see. Instead of it just being a JPEG you walk up to. Oh, there's a ghost. I see. Hello. This is just like The Last of Us. <laughs> Ghost of Monkey. Gungaga Reactor. Ghost of Tsushima, but it's a little guy. Nature came back swinging. That's the Mako Rich Land. What's good for life is great for reactors. See your way in. Whisper. 
Reapers. Though not as we know them. How do you figure? Come. It's time. Let's follow him. Come on. Sephiroth is a whisper. He's not a whisper, but there's some shenanigans at play. Skies above Gongaga. Have a good long dream. We must be close by now. Thanks for hanging. How much longer? We expect to arrive within the hour. <laughs> then I'd better choose a suitable toy. Will that be necessary, ma'am? Of course it will. I'll make sure that it is. <laughs> Ma'am. What are you doing? What are you doing with that pile of goop? Pile of goop on the plane. Oh, I got oh, Barrett, I gotta grab the oregano before we go inside. For the soup later, you see. In. Bum, 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 Outlaw bangle. It is on sale. Yeah. Give me one of them. Bum, 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 Yes. Um. <laughs> Who's in my party right now? Uh, you three. So yeah, let's steal the healing from Red and grab. <laughs> Maybe just get zapping. Or maybe poison. No, he's got poison. Which I almost never use. I'm not seeing a lot of guys that are weak to poison. So it might just be that you can inflict them with poison, but maybe it's not I don't know. We gotta make Kate Sith's Moogle explode a couple times. And he's got fire poison fortification lightning. Bunch of stuff. Um <laughs> Magic efficacy. That might not be a bad idea for what? A fortification? Increases, de reduces MP cost. So, yeah. All right. We looking good? We looking great. Beautiful. And we got any... Eh. Uh... Yeah, we're okay. Thank you, Weeb. Lightning, probably a good idea since throw a friend. But then she... She was looking at a bunch of robot friends that we fought already, if memory serves. One of them is a robot you fight in Intergrade that she pilots. And then it showed a pile of goop. So I think we're gonna fight the pile of goop, is the idea. I mean, maybe we fight all of the above. Eh, well, yeah, we'll see. Merch. Merch. I love our big purple sword. Oh! Frog! Not the frog! Uh... Take the lead. All right! Watch it! How'd you like that? Watch out for frogs. Wait, uh... Kate Sips the one. No, no. Watch out. No, no, don't. Wait, I kind of want him to turn into a frog. What would, what would he do? 
cat get Sith turned into a frog. What do you do? Uh, I've been poisoned. Moogle kaboom. Let's ride. Which is square. Bump, bump. Moogle kaboom. What the fuck was that noise? What the hell is this? The hell is all that? I'm not just a fortune teller. I see that. Oh. 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 You know, the game heard me say I like my purple sword, and they said, time to get rid of it. And I went, no. Only two slot. They're really, okay. They're getting to that part of the game where they're like, oh, you want this upgrade? Well, you're going to have to forego some materia. I'm like, you sons of guns. Wide up and unleash an overhead strike. Increased damage on stagger. Cost two ATB. Jax. Jax. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 he's just a little guy. Jax, he's just a little guy. All right, P, my Gormagala sword. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'll switch back to it probably once I'm done with this weapon. Yeah, but da da ba da ba That's really good, Jax. I have a very late thing for you. What's that? You need a permit? Um... I only have two slots here, and they're not linked. Love that. So, we have to give AP up to somebody. Fire and Ice, Steadfast, Assess, I definitely like. Morning Wind. Good. Yep. This hurts to get rid of all that, but I want the new ability. A BTTV. Pet the choco the choco baby. Pet the choco baby. It's the little choco ball man. That's pretty good. Let me see if I can refresh on screen chat. Bum 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 bum. Um Where the hell is the Refresh cash. It did not update. All right, well, I'll try it again later. Uh, yeah. Crit hit right, uh, Billy. Crit hit. Magic attack. Weapon Billy damage. Just gonna. It's boring, but I'll take the stats. And then. Hmm. God damn. I am in I am in materia hell right now. Well I can I swap out the lightning for uh where is it? Oh I kept lightning wind on him. Wait, what did I what did I get rid of? I kept those because I wanted both of them. Um What did I get rid of that I want to keep? AP up. Do I even have a linked slot? I could AP up on what? On HP up? Hmm. Maybe. Uh. Get AP up in there. And then. Oop. Oop. What else did I get rid of? Step has blocked. That's okay. I'll just be fine for now. Only going without it for a little bit. Yeah, Kate Sits almost got his proficiency up. All right. Choco baby. Little lad. Tiny little boy. Oh, God. 
Go left, you say, but there's a thing that says I can go there, and I can also go this way. Why would I go the way you're telling me to go? When I have all these other places, I can go instead. Oh, that's why. Uh, what are you? What are you? Okay, let's go. A Grangaland? Replicate? <laughs> Wait, these are the weird fucking egg dudes! From the original! Oh my god, yeah! Egg-like creatures that live in forested regions, they reproduce asexually by consuming minerals and mako. The offspring born this way will give their lives to defend their parents. Inflicting enough damage will cause them to produce a Grangaland Jr. Further attacks will pressure them. These guys were so silly in the original, it's like, they're not gonna put these in remake, will they? They fucking did! The Mad Lads did it! Wait, Kate's Sith. Oh, there's so many of them. Let's ride! Uh, and then, oh, Moogle Kaboom. Great. And then Barret can do Barret things. Oh, God. Yeah, these guys are a lot. Uh, right. Cloud. Cloud has a thing. Infinity Zen. What was the proficiency bonus? I don't remember. Ooh, big spin. And then slam down. Don't replicate. Don't do it. God damn it. The babies are having babies. Don't self-destruct. Shit. Baby Grangolin. It's just like Nandaland. Oh, no. Phew. Kate Sith almost exploded a bit. Um, here you go, buddy. Oh, do I need to assess the little guys too? Nah, that's fine. Pet the baby Grangolin. Grangolin. Baby Grangolin. Okay, there's a thing there. Uh. Okay, Kate Sith. Thank God, I can go back to. Honestly, maybe yellow? It has more materia slots, too. And it's the same magic attack for a slight hit to physical. So I'll take it. Yeah, now we got materia slots. Yeah. That's great. Beautiful. And then Cloud is still... Strike a staggered enemy. Okay. If they're staggered, then okay. Okay. I really want those materia slots back. Uh, yeah. Well, back, buddy. Gram a lamb. Gram a lamb. Gram a lamb. Oh, I'm back here. Oh, that was a nice little loop they did. Um, eat a potion. Eat a couple potions. Don't mind me. We're being inconspicuous, remember? Stealth is the name of the game. Cloud almost tripped on the cat. Goodies? Goodies? Num. Num, 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 num. Num. Ah, uh, there's only so much swimming a cat can take. And it's just a little water. Why does everything always have to be such a pain in the ass? I like watching them go. We do this fast. Uh, this is fine. This is fine. As long as we don't all turn into frogs. No, no. Careful. I'm ending this. Bam! Oh. Oh, he, he was physicsing through the floor pretty good. Hey, that looks bad. I'm gonna press it. He's too old for this shit. He is the living embodiment of I'm too old for this shit. 
Oh. Uh oh. Don't tell me we get to. Ah, uh, god damn it. So, so, I thought we were past the slow physics puzzles. Unless I'm just plugging it in here. Oh, thank God. But this is step one. I'm gonna. I'm go. Don't even mark my words. It, it's. I'm gonna have to drag one of these around. God damn it. Slow moving physics, my beloved. My beloved. You sweet summer child. Mm. Hello. Don't hold back. Now. Ambush. Why is it called ambush? Pay them the power funds vessels while they're waiting to ambush will pressure them. And Chimera is weak to ice and lightning. Hey, no problem. Okay. I want to hit him while he's pressured. So, ow, ow. Don't overdo it. Yeah, I'll do it before I'm pounding on you. Damn it. He's dying too fast. Uh oh. Cloud, I mean, Barrett, I mean, careful. Um. Roll the dice. Just a big goofy ass dice. Uh, five. Regenerative aura. Ooh. Ooh. Barrett, uh, blast them with a uh, that focus shot. Okay, before he dies. Before he dies. Damn it. I'm never gonna get that proficiency bonus. Barrett used Biden Blast. <laughs> it was super effective. Uh, uh, that looks like a dead end. Which means there's gonna be a goodie. Because I've been a good little lad and I deserve a treat. Like three canisters of hazardous material. Santa, how did you know that I wanted three canisters of hazardous materials for Christmas? Oh, coolant control. All right, whatever you do, don't drink the coolant. Cloud, I got a bunch in my mouth and I swallowed it immediately. Cloud! This stuff's just Powerade, Cloud! It's delicious! The Mako is coursing through me! Oh, it's scrumptious. Did I see a purple? No, it's a regular. Oh. Okay. Yeah. But it, it does look delicious. It looks so thirst quenching. Let's, uh. In Bam, bam, bam. Gong, ga, ga. One thing that has been interesting, a sage armband. Um, in the original game, uh, you have to fight some Turks when you first get to Gongaga, or so I recall. Um, oh, that's pretty good. Two to three. No, not length, though. What about Kate Sith? You want that? Not really. Hmm. 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 Where, where is it? Sage. Yuffie wants it. Also losing a materia slot, but you're not even using the length one, so good. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm so funny! I just like to ramble and say things while I play the video game. Have we tried crafting any upgrades? You know what? I might have upgrades. Hey. It even shows you if someone has it equipped? Damn, that's good. Um, okay. Well, I could level up my old beast bracelet. Wait, huh? What's the difference between these? Because I have two of them? Is that it? 
But only I get points for... Confused. I have two. And, and Yuffie's already using one of them? I don't. Mega Potion! Oh, it uses a lot of oregano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Missed Mega Potion. Oh. Nice. How much for adrenaline? I need Planet's Mercy. What the hell is that? Okay. Well, considering I got Planet's Benison. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I get it. The little icon, the, the Isonics, the cushion, I was like, what is that? That's because I got it from a, uh, a thing in the open world. I got the recipe from whatever it's called. Got it. Okay. You have points either way. True. Uh, you upgraded the unequipped one that upgrades while well, she's wearing it. I understand I upgraded the one I didn't have equipped. So this is saying that she has an, a regular, and same with red. They have ones equipped that aren't enhanced, and I can't. Let me just go over to her. Uh, Goofy. She has a sage armband on. What? I'm looking at the wrong person. Tifa had it. Thought it was, okay. And there's an enhanced one. I see. Okay. I don't know if that UI could be better. It's probably fine. Because this kind of makes it look like he has a abyssal, an enhanced one equipped. It doesn't. It doesn't mean that at all. It's just saying I could equip the one that increased the one he's wearing. So, okay. It's not It's not bad. It's just like it, it took me a second to realize. Because I, I guess I had never upgraded or tried to upgrade a gear while someone has it equipped. Anywho. Let's fight some guys. Grandhorn! Don't do that. Uh, yeah. Uh, weak to fire. Attack them twice while they're guarding will cause them to counterattack, hitting them with powerful offensive abilities while guarding or counterattacking will pressure them. They are bipedal creatures found in forested regions. Sociable by nature, they tend to live in distinct groups. They scoop up rocks with their huge claws and hurl them at outsiders. I love that. Do, 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 do. Let's ride. Oh. Get, get in there. Yeah. Woo, look out. Yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, yeah, but, um, let's try measure why I was going to pull front. Fortune telling. Let's do fortune telling. Or not. Jesus. Uh, they're weak to fire? Yeah, they sure are. Barrett has fire. Yeah, he does. Fira! No, damn it. No, no. Do 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 dee do dee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Delicious. And then you eat a potion, you eat a potion. Beautiful. Mamba bumpa. Mama. Mama. Ba ba ba. If you look at the armor, there's a class. That's fine. Armor has a class? Is there a part of the UI I've been ignoring looking at the whole time? It's on my where it says mark. Oh, and the description. Great. Oh. So the higher the grade, the more generally better it is. 
I sure do have a level 7 that no one's using. Hey, Barrett, do you want that? Yeah, he does. He does, actually. Crocodile Rock. Got it. Is there a way to sort them by grade? Uh, prioritize sort. Just by, by default? Is default by grade? It looks like it is. I was not sorting by default. Hi, this good... No, this is good enough. Thank for five gifted subs. That's awful kind of you. Uh, Jimmy Stars, Soul One, Couchulet, Odd Oddities, and Kale and Sky. Welcome. I hope you enjoy, I'll enjoy the emotes. I, you know, we got we got a couple FF7 emotes, like Barrett and Barahoy, as well as Barhyuk is redified. And I hope you enjoy them. Thank you very much. That is very generous. Um, do I have anything here? Yeah, I do. Magic efficiency up for the thing I always forget to use, fortification, which would be good if I used it. I should probably put magnify on that, but I love having magnify on heal. I should probably get another magnify. That would probably be worth... Uh, Yuffie has... Right, I want her to have steel. Um, another HP up. Steadfast block. There you go. There you go, buddy. Perfect. And I still have Cloud has to learn his thing. Yuffie has to learn. Okay. Um. Remember, don't drink this. Well, I didn't see how, unless we all sprout wings. Oh, raise the water level. Look for the control terminal. Raise the water level. Four words that instill any gamer with fear. Raise the water level. Frogs! He was talking directly. He was breaking the fourth wall. Thing. Thing, one thing. How get thing? Eh. Um. What is that connected to? Because both of those stairs are out. Oh, once I raise the water level. Naturally. Stop hurting the frogs. I, they're standing there menacingly. I have to. Believe you me, I, I'm only doing it because I have to. And by have to, I mean, well, they're standing there menacingly. Okay, so I gotta... Well, it's like the same as the first reactor. That's kind of neat. If the layout is the same, but due to it having exploded and flooded and stuff, being overgrown, it's kind of different. Oh boy! Oh boy! I gotta move it on. I got it. Oh, it's on a track. Hold on. Hold on. Can you guys? Any guys want to help? Help with boys night. Your boys night. Barrett, you good? I can climb upon. Oh. Oh. Maybe I should power it up first. Yep. Yep. Very slowly move it. You know I will. Yeah, not yet. I think if I drop down, I'll have to go all the way around again. On the way out. Thank you for the clarification. <laughs> but yeah, it's like... Not only smart from a game development perspective, but like a world building perspective that they have a standardized Mako reactor. But then mixing it up from a gameplay perspective so it's not just the exact same route. Yippee! Now we can get the fuck out. Right? Did I. 
The puzzle still doesn't know. Yeah. Uh, are we good? Or I have to go back out and then hit the button. I think we're good. Yeah. Oh boy, 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 oh boy. I was mashing the button open and ended up running around in a circle. This is gonna have no materia slots. Yeah, actually, no, it does. Okay. Sweet. Damn, that's a big boost to attack. Golden collar, an opulent collar forged from gold found in a forest stream. Watcher's Respite. Uh, deplete the Vengeance Gauge to heal allies. Bouncy proportional to amount expended. Activate when the Vengeance gate is, Gauge is full for a bonus. That's rad. Considering red kind of became my healer in the original, just through circumstance, it's kind of rad. Uh, da, 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 da. Slightly feels like to be a start of battle. Increase magic attack. Increases Vengeance Gauge after being revived. Restores HP when activating the mode. Increases charge rate on blocking. Give me those. He's got precision defense, steadfast ice barrier. Do I have any other blue? No. That's fine. Um. Bum 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 bum. Um. Could get another steel going, I guess. And HP up for the lad. Wait. Um, and then I guess just whatever other materials we've got. We've got a poison. Empowerment. Sure. Alright. Yeah, I heard about that toasting. It's very sad. Cannot change party, but I can swap out. Oh, who do I? Hmm. Wait, when they say cannot change party, do they mean I can't swap out? No, I can. Okay. What is it running right now? Man, obviously I'm keeping cloud. Uh, hmm. Hmm. He's got the revive level boost luck up. I do want to fuck around with Kate Sif. He's really silly, but... Oh, man. Do I want to get rid of Barrett? I don't, is the thing. Shit. Damn it. All right. This makes me sad. There's not there's not a single party right now where I'm like, that's perfect. But I want to get that proficiency bonus. Um... Give me them's... Give me a couple of these. Give me uh, some of uh, some of those. Okay. Got a lot of mega potions. That's good. Because I can't craft many. Uh, okay. Cool. We got the funny little guy brigade. We sure do. Okay. okay. Surprise! I tried to do a mid-air attack and it didn't work. Well done. Fine. Uh, ah. Shit. You're up. Perfect. I'm trying to build up some vengeance gauge, and it's not going well. Because I guess that doesn't count as blocking when it's an unblockable attack. No. Uh, hey, Cloud. How much Reeve looks like me? Um... Don't think so. I'll uh, I, it, yeah, don't. Do not at me unless it is an urgent thing. I think you'll. No. No. Make it quick. 
pop them. Shit. Do it again. Hit him with a spin. All comes down to this. Um, can I use it even without any vengeance? Guess I can. <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah. Unfortunately, it highlights my name if you just say it, which is... I can't avoid that. But when you type the at as well, it's just like, your intent is clear. And I just, I just ask the chat not at me unless it's something that's urgent. Because I get easily distracted, especially when I'm in combat and stuff. It's not a big deal, I'm not mad. But if I say anyone can at me for any reason, then chat just gets very happy with adding me. And I try to toned back a little bit, and I appreciate it. I'm not, you know. Uh, what was I looking at? I want to see the proficiency. How do you do? Wow. Nothing. Cool. So I guess it doesn't count if you don't have any vengeance, which makes sense. Because you're playing the vengeance gaze to heal, so. Alright. Killy did a thing. What did Killy do? What kill? What the Killy doing? No worries. It says 404. Why does it say 404? Okay, I clicked the link again and then it worked. You good? Oh my god. This is weird. If I open... Okay, that... Imager's just having a time. I tried to open the image directly and then it also 404 again. But I got it. Grab her by the scruff! <laughs> <laughs> Imdra needs some milk. Thank you, Kelly. I'm all sorry I typed in. It's fine. You don't have to apologize. Nothing to apologize for, chat. Nothing to apologize for. Ba -ba 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 -ba. All right. Hold on. Yeah, I can close that. All right. Yeah. Well, that Kelly Berry, that works. Oh boy, a grenade! Wow, we. Pardon me for asking, but what do you want with this weapon thing anyway? Ah, but what for? Who are you looking to use it for? Zephyroth. The company again, but. Zephyroth? The man's been dead for half a day. Maybe. But he's back now. Sephiroth's been dead for how long? But I keep seeing them. What's that about? Yeah. I'm sure it's nothing. Uh, trick of the light. A crocodile bracelet. I have one of these. Aerith and Tifa both want one of these. Okay. He's a wee Scottish lad. Uh, Tifa? Tifa? I just gave you an enhanced thing. Maybe Aerith gets it. Where the hell? I should probably sell some of these. Crocodile bracelet. What does she currently have? Two materia slots. Oh, we could do better than that. Oh, we could do better than that. There you go. Beautiful. I should maybe just do the auto equip stuff. Because I don't love this inventory management. I wish there was a quicker way to just pull up the whole party and just like bounce between people. I legit think some of the menuing in the original game is better, which is not ideal. Um, in general, this UI is very serviceable. But when you're trying to handle the entire party stuff, it just feels like tabbing between them 
It's kind of nice to be able to see everyone at once. Like, for example, just when you're buying stuff and you can see their stats in the bottom right corner, it just makes it really easy to see them at a glance. And I wish that was an option when you were equipping as well. Um, so if I auto-equip, then that would certainly make it easier. Let's fight some... something. Oh. Well, then, would you look at that? You seeing this? Since the plant went offline, the whole place has been filling up with Mako. Which means the planet ain't done. We were right to take out those reactors. I wouldn't go that far. Let's get to work. Too much Mako here. Experimental specimens created by Shinra's R&D, though originally human, countless cellular transplants from various poisonous plants and fungi have altered their genetic composition. She turned them into mushrooms! Inflicting fire will leave them open to attack. They will revive themselves up to two times after being defeated unless they are burning. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. Uh, yep. Bop. Bop. Do 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 do. Do. Shuba do bo dee bee dee bee do. They're burning. That wasn't so bad. Ma'am. I hope I don't have to fight more of them here. There's so much room for guys to spawn in. Oh no! They're spawning in! Yeah, she do that. She really do that. Wildfire! No, why am I- Don't attack the only one that's not on fire! Uh, hit the- hit the one that's not on fire. Just cutting and seeing Kate sit with his tiny little horn is just so silly. It gets me good. Oh. Wait, I think I remember this guy from the original? Maybe? There was a very goopy lad in the original. Is this him? Uh. Fira? Oh. A monstrosity created by Shinra's R&D division. Although this Mako chugging creature miraculously survived Hojo's experiments, it's been taking on a vile new appearance, nigh unrecognizable from its former self. He got a turd arm a little bit. He's squid face before. Mm. But there was like one guy that had like a big like mouth coming out of the side of it that was like kind of humanoid. So remind me of that. Strengthens itself by ingesting Mako, then unleashes a powerful attack after a certain amount of time. Inflicting enough damage after ingestion will both interrupt the subsequent attack and pressure. Weak to ice. Resistant to... What is it? Resistant to stop and sleep. Immune to a whole bunch of stuff. Great. Hit him with ice. 
Yeah. Don't expose your Mako. Oof. Yeah. Oof. Ready when you are. He's ingesting the Mako. Uh, uh. Yeah. Uh. Hit him with your tiny little horn, buddy. Do it. Uh, let's ride. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, that's... He's fine. Oh, God. Oh, he's doing a lot of things. Yeah. Uh, eat a potion. Roll the dice. A two. healing. Memento Mori? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Sure. <laughs> oh, 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 shit. Well, that's, that's death. We're fucking dead. I mean, it ain't over yet, but, uh, not looking great. Um, the, can I get this out before he dies? I did? Somehow? Sorry to trouble the time. And then bring you back. Everything's fine. Um right down. Oh, that's bad. That's very bad. Yep. Yep. Not dead somehow. Shit. Come on, please, please, please. Just the time Oh no. Oh no. Uh Missed high potion? Eeky! What's his limit? He can't. Use the move of the lava box of tricks. Maybe not. Cross slash. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. No. Fuck. No. <laughs> Shit. Uh, synergy. On it. And then Kate Sith can just bonk him. Fuck! He dodged all of it. Um. Uh. Missed high potion. That's why. Wait. Hmm. What if I heal again? Uh oh. This is fine. I need the Moogle out. That makes sense. This was a Hit him with the magic box! What you got in there? Oh! 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 Let's fucking go! <laughs> uh, that was great. Uh, hit give him a uh, ether. Uh, shit. Force or ZP. Just regular ether. Oh my god. Uh, what we got? Soldier Moogle class! Fuck you! 
You just gotta believe. Oh, we are not about to die. We're fine. Everything's fine. Uh, Restores HP and MP. Red hasn't even done any spells. What if he does that with a bunch of Blizzard? Damn it! Come on. Yeah, do this. Do that. Um, damn it. Can I just get a little bit? There we go. Hit him with that. And then... Hit him with that shit. Blow him up! Uh... Wait, red. Red do things. Fuck him up! Um... Hey, what we could do... What we could do... Bring in the big boy! Now that we finally have a new summon... He can stomp around. He wants to stomp. Uh, mountain Crusher. Yeah, get him. Punch him. And blast him with ice. Yeah, he hates that. He hates being blasted with ice. Uh... Oh, let's not get cocky. Uh... My turn. Yep. Okay, that was good timing. Um. It's almost dead. Oh, it's going to slam. Oh, it's going to slam. Don't let it slam. Woo. That was a spicy fight. Yee. Oof. Cloud. Hey. Don't breathe that. Let me help. You all right? Sephiroth going in for a smooch. Huh? Oh, come on. Well, as amusing as this has been, I have material to collect, so if you would excuse me. Meanwhile, oh. Holy. oh. <laughs> Romicus, 
When did those get here? We gotta help them. Hurry and get ready. Then meet me at the stables. Girls' night? International Women's Day! Let's go! Take the chocobos. Oh, look at these cuties! <laughs> and just in case. Good idea. Thanks. It's a total mess inside the reactor. They should help you get around. I'd give it to the boys, but you need to be they're careful. smelly. Don't ask me why, but my gut is telling me that something big is about to go down. And more often than not, it's right. Don't worry. Whatever it is, we can handle it. Chuckles near the region can bound great distances of large mushrooms. As well as slide along certain tree branches. These mushrooms are great. Yeah. Meow. Oh. Meow. Whoa. Holy shit. Okay. That went way further than I thought it would. You know? You know? Hey, buddy. Oops. You, you, ch yeah, hold on. This is. Tifa, we gotta go. The reactor's exploding and Shinra's here. It's really important that we. All right. Great work. Good work. Let's go. Yep, up, 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 up. When I, when I started stream with, um, Sonic Mania music. I didn't know it was going to be applicable to the gameplay. The giant bounce pads. But here we are. Boing. The Mako wastes. Wait, hold on. There's goodies. Cloud would understand. He would. So I can ride that. Should I ride that? Why not? Uh oh. Lads? Hey, stop! <laughs> hey! Hey! Hey, stop! Hey, what are you doing? Quit it! Oh. I don't have healing on these ladies, do I? Eh, we'll be fine. Who needs healing? I'll show you what I can do. That'll do. It's International Women's Day. Girls get it done. Uh, 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 wait, no. Um, wait, maybe this? Hey, Yuffie. Two of them. Two of them. Wait. Wait. Didn't mean to do that. I meant to do this. I'll show you what I can do. You've got this. If you and they're fine. They're fine. They're fine. They're fine. Uh, da, 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 da. How's the bitrate holding up, chat? So what 
we do now? I was just tapping the square button. Now we climb. Hey, welcome back. <laughs> Hanging in there. Look around for a place to make a purchase. Then press L2 to fire grappling gun. Make purchase. Sure. Why don't we just steal their helicopter? Beep, 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 beep. Tifa Croft. And that, and that, and that. Oh, can go in there. Um, gotta have a sit. Bam, bam, bam. My brain isn't able to process what's happening. Yeah, a lot of explosions. I'm not really clear myself, but it seemed great. Maybe we're okay. Could get, could get a third healing, but. I should make sure we at least have stuff equipped, which we don't. So, can fix that. Right, she has Chakra, which is level four. <laughs> I've like, used it like twice the entire game, if that. Uh, you can have that as a treat, and you could have an Assess. That seems fine. Um, I could give her, eh. Nah. Um, just level it up. Give her more for the hell of it. Might as well. It's not gonna. Well, it is actually linked, but not to a, a magic. Aerith has stuff. Me, me. You can have morph as a treat, and you don't have a summon. Great, perfect. Everyone's the gang's all here. Um. Should I steal one? Steal a freak. Time heist all stuff. Yeah, I should probably be stealing with uh, Yuffie. Cause she doesn't she have an ability or something that I gave her where things happen when she steals or she's better at stealing. Does anyone remember what I'm talking about? She had something. Was it this? No. Was it one of these? Oh, I got the proficiency. Sweet. Um. Hmm. Honestly, I think we're good. It does damage when you steal. It was a folio thing. Right. That's what it was. Um. Okay. I don't think it's in here. Magic attack up on steel. Gotcha. Thank you. Let's get in there. And by getting there, I mean... This was optional. Um, is that just that? Okay. Oh, it's flooded now. She just kicked metal boxes apart. 110 SP to use. Did I have that much? No. Oh, no, you don't. Oh. I assume the red back is Ruby. I doubt it. I think it's just a thing. Oh, no, you don't. Uh. Yuffie should be doing the stealing. Do they have things to steal? Oregano! Give me your oregano! Give me that! Failed to steal. Shit. Darn it. You're too good. Oregano. Nope. Ho oh, ho. Oh. Yeah. Kick him. Hello, lads. Gentlemen. 
Oh god. Hi. Uh, uh, mm, a. Remove. Okay. Uh. Him with that. It's your turn. Hearing this. Fail to steal. Do they have a steal? Beast, they have bones. I can steal their bones? Nonsense, the Hulk was hungry for bones. Have I been so concerned? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Oh. Uh. Yep, yeah, over there. Grab, grab it. Hulk needs bones. Memories. Good times. Simpler times. Tiger fangs. Tifa, say meow. Tifa, say meow. Savage gloves inspired by the sharp teeth of a beast of prey. Chi trap. Create an orb of materialized chi that deals damage on contact. Very good. Um, that's a lot of material. No linked slots, but that's fine. <laughs> Utterly unbridled strength. Increased attack power while unbridled strength is active. 5% boost chi level 1, 10% chi level 2. Activates the concentration after being revived. HP up. Increases HP recovery by 10% of healing party members. Attack power up in pure recovery. Give me that. Give me that. Let's rock. Teeth mia. Teeth mia. Boop bop boop beep. Beep bop boop boop. <laughs> Uh, any goodies there? Ah, ah. Boxes! Tifa hates boxes. We haven't gotten to her backstory yet, but she hates boxes. Uh, eh. Let Yuffie steal. I want her to steal. Well, I'm just standing down there. Just a bunch of frogs. And an egg. Hey, what's up? Put down a trap on the Grangling. Nah, nah. Bad noises. Uh, he is zinc ore. And the frogs are dead. Steal from Grangling! Keep fail I keep failing the check. How about now? Fail to steal. What about now? Oh, it's such a good word to describe me. I'm thinking legendary. I haven't I haven't successfully stolen anything in so long. Man. What's a ninja to do? Can't steal nothing. Mm -hmm. yeah. May just shelve that ability. I mean, I don't have a lot of materia that I would otherwise equip. So I'll just leave it on, but... Maybe luck? What is your luck stat? Oh. Can't. Alright. Some of these don't have anything? Yeah, but I've been checking. Um, once you assess them, it shows what they have. So I'm checking the bottom left, and it's like, yeah, they have a thing. I've just been getting unlucky. I mean, maybe it's rare, but... For example, this guy says stealable items in the bottom left and morph of wool. So morph is you have to kill them with the morph ability, which is tough. But they have beast talons, and this guy's got zinc. I think one of her foliage increases her luck. That could be. <laughs> Hit him with the chi trap. Ooh. Master G trap. Well, that went well. Wait, wait. 
steal from the Gagagagagi. Failed to steal. What if I tried again? Did it? I missed where the text was. Failed to steal. Seems like steel mug worked better on pressure. Oh, I, I, that's right. I'm not even using mug. I should be using that. Pressure and staggered enemies. It could be a thing. Kind of wish I could just set it to automatically be set to mug. I stole a beast talent. Yeah, da da do 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 beat booty. Okay, I'll take over. Yep. Games. It's over. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. That's nice that price still triggers even though it's late. <laughs> you put mug on a shortcut. Smart. Gonna do that right now. Um, that's not there. That's here. Yuffie. Uh, abilities. Mug. Done. Sweet. Um, it's fine. That's a good idea. The native going gaga gaga gagi gandhi. Go gaga gagi. Go gaga gagi. No. Oh, oh. Oh. The boys need us. We must be quick. But first, I have to slide a thing around and solve a puzzle. from over there. Let's see. But there's a thing here. It's really satisfying watching her just do a little roundhouse kick and just destroying boxes. <laughs> satisfying. Hold on, boys. Gotta do a Sudoku. Hold on, boys. Haven't done today's Wordle. Be right with you. Why did they, why did they put this? There's nothing. That reminds me. <laughs> Gotta do today's work. I bet it's a five-letter word with some verbs in it. Verbs? Vowels? You ever got words in there? Uh, okay. Great. I'm assuming we just gotta push it. I've solved your puzzle. And then... Drop down. I always start with a doily. What's everyone's starting wordle word? I change it up every time because it's fun. But if you have a word you always start with. Rusty! That's a good one. Raise, stale, roast, crate, phase, plane, water. I love pushing things around slowly. It's my favorite. Oh, we made it. Carl Stein, baby. You can't. That's not work. Audio. Grant. 
These are all good. Hello! Don't let him escape! Wait. Yuffie was just stupid strong here, so. She just doesn't care about anything that they have going on. I'm just gonna tap the square button. I agree. Oh wait, I'm supposed to be sending out my clone. No, I already maxed that out. We're fine. Do you guys? I don't know what you have. I stole a grenade. Failed to steal. Stole a grenade. Failed to steal. Stole a grenade. Nothing to steal. It does feel really great to use the shortcuts and just be bouncing off dudes and just trying to mug them over and over. It's got it's got a tasty game feel to it. All right, stole a grenade. Oh look, the pin's already pulled. Oh no! Boom. Eh. Uh, eat a potion. Head crabs? Oh, the robots. Okay. They look like head crabs. Like poison head crabs. The bigger ones? They're zoomers! Get them! Slug ray? Uh, their gyroscopic control system enables the units to track and engage intruders from the air at high speeds. They are using tilt controls. Just gonna assume they're weak to lightning. Uh oh. So it's my turn. Ah, everything's fine. Thanks for the raid. Hello. Everything's fine over here. How you doing? Zap. Be with you in a moment. Yeah. Failed to steal. Great. Hi. Hey, welcome. We're playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Hope you had a good stream, Crayon. Welcome. Yeah, if anyone's supporting spoilers, we are in chapter nine, I think, of question mark. And um, we're running around. We're in Gongaga. We're in the Gongaga region. And it's girls' night. Happy International Women's Day. Hope you're all having a good... Oh, boy. Um, meh. Maybe a mist. And then Yuffie eat some of these. Alright. Yeah, hope you had a good stream. Hello. We fight we fought some goofy boys and now we're oh. This is where I came in. We're en route to the lads. To meet up with the boys. Let's eat some basic potions. Because I'm not in combat. It makes sense. In combat, ATB is a precious resource, and I want to do maximum efficient healing. Out of combat, I can just eat a million potions. It makes sense, damn it. Not gonna use all 44. I might. I'm really bad at this game. Yeah, 
There's a mega potion. You happy? You happy? Yeah. Hey, can you haste the child? Give the hyperactive girl more energy. Uh, we don't need him. Uh. Damn it. Play a game and I'm play a game. I mean, I will, and I don't mind. I don't mind chat calling out my dumb habits, but I swear eating tiny potions makes sense. If I was in combat eating potions and going, but I might need my mega potions. Fair. Then that would be. I would agree. Buy a couple of those. Buy a couple of those. Um. Because I am want to do that. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, sure. Uh, do I want another healing? Nah, it's fine. Number going down. Number do go down sometimes. Oh yeah, I want to see if, uh... Sorry, I got the volume up. I just like jamming out the music and then I just keep forgetting to drop it back down. I want to check teeth... No. Yuffies. See if she's got some kind of luck stat somewhere. Uh, Hunter's Precision. Uh... I'm just gonna use this. Some Scent. Final Fire. Luck up. I imagine Stealing Chances uses luck. Feels like to be a star battle. Increase max HP, yeah. Putting three types of potion in my mouth like jawbreakers. There you go. Uh, cloud, I want up here. Yes. Sergeant, yeah. Increase HP recharge rate performing actions. Nice. Barret! Increase HP recovery by 10% more coming and receiving healing. I need to get over there. Increase weapon ability damage by 3%. Reduces physical damage by 5%. I don't want to do damage. Damage, damage make me happy. Uh, red. Magic defense by 35. Hell yeah. Do I always pick the first thing I see? No. Not, not always. Win for free. Bench mode duration. Ice for free. Red and Yuffie sync up. Not of SP. All right. Kate sniff. Lightning. Damage to my move rule. SP. Moogle regen. And it was a random second tier unique ability immediately after calling the Moogle for the... Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Kate sniff is what I called them in my playthrough of the original because Bath was watching when he joined the party and I was like everyone has been all names except for Aerith who was called Weenus it made sense at the time uh, Tifa 
Sounds good. Increase max MP. As far as defend you, I move about the field. Unleash lightning for free. Tifa in red. Hmm. Increase crit. That's not bad. Let's work our way up there. Gonna go watch movies of the gang. Have a good movies. Thanks for stopping by. Save for that. Okay. Wait, Eric. What Eric got? This is wind. Synergy skill and synergy ability. Damage. Ice for free. Aerith and Yuffie hone their focus. They're yet to be charged. Magic attack. For duration. Final time damage. Duration afflicted to total status effects. Synergy skill and ability. Baron Aerith strike a pose. Oh shit. Oh shit. No, that looks rad though. She puts on sunglasses. I need that. Uh, this costs 15. This costs 10. Free fire magic. I say it for that. Okay, I need to see that in game. Urgently. Sweet and sour salvo is a hell of a name. Best synergy in the game right there. I can't believe I've gone this long without unlocking it. I should have made that a priority. Okay. We're ready to get our asses handed to us? Probably. Whoa. Okay. Alright. Hopefully their aim sucks. Wah. Yeah, their aim sucks. Wee! We made it. Hey, it's that pet. You all right? Good start. No, no, don't do. Uh, lightning jutsu. Uh, why don't I do this? Oh no. No. Ooh. Um. Do I not have any spells on Aerith? Boy, I'm playing this game very poorly. <laughs> um. <laughs> That's funny. Um. Uh, I was like, it probably is good to get a ward up, but I think I'll just save up for prey, which is probably gonna be the majority of my healing. That and the fact that Aerith can. Um. Yeah, blast the hand. There you go. Oh, yeah. Hey, Aerith. Do a thing. Um, actually, let's miss Ty first. Because everyone could use a little bit of healing. Do it again. Hopefully this takes out the left hand. 
There you go. Uh, uh, physical damage, poison, poison. Do that. Um, haste the child. Okay. No. And um, you know what? We should haste. Maybe we slow her. Not so fast. You're up. Uh, lock onto the arm. Wait. Back. Ow. Uh, don't have MP. That's fine. Because here's what we're gonna do. Actually, yeah. Wait. Um. Wait, Tifa. Ooh. Hey Tifa, can you punch its shin real quick? Thank you. Oh no. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, haste. Tear it. Would be good. Because she's very slow at building ATB. Um, you can break. And blow up the hand. Blow up the hand. There you go. Whoa, whoa, holy shit. Okay, well, damn. That's, that works. Um, kick her, kick her. Uh, um, yeah, that is fine. And you are so far away. Um, you just uh, the shield is fine. Uh, yeah. Stack shock. Sure. Ma'am. So many toys, so little time. What if I stand behind my little shield? I'm just gonna stand behind my little shield here. Hey, it got me. Woo! Ah, ah, ow. Uh, uh. Aerith. Don't like that. Don't like that. Oi. Oi, oi, oi. So many freight. Uh, mm, it's like I should save the limit for when it's staggered next. Does she? That's a great question. One more shot. She sure does. Rad. I've 
been dying to see you. Hey, Eric. I've been dying to see you too. How you been? Uh, wait, just blast the cannon. Um, paste, Eric. Nah, nah. I would like to pray before everyone dies. You? Oh, we have Aerith's limit. What am I doing? Eh, eh. Yep. Why did I, why did I do that? Stop it. Oh, I lost the, the I was like, why am I not doing anything? Ooh, a lot is happening. Uh, lightning? Please stop shooting her repeatedly in the face. That's very rude. She's just a little kid. No, no. I think I probably just have to block that. I don't know how to dodge it. Come on. Great. And now the right one. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Yep. Fine. That was jarring. Timing. Thanks. It's past time that I got Trendy game? Oh. That's not good. Miss Potion is gonna help a little bit. Uh, actually, yeah. Thundara! Oh no. Oh, it's reduced. It's not weak to lightning. What are you weak to? Uh, boobies have jiggle physics in this game? This sure does. Maybe ice? Maybe it doesn't have a weakness. Maybe wind? No, no, don't do that. No, what are you doing? Yeah. Ah! She's fine. Uh, no, that's not smart. Um, person needs to be in the three. Yeah, let's do that. Oh my God! Look at them go. Yeah, they're they're doing stuff in there. So ice is also not. Whoa! It's turning into an N64 boss. Final Fantasy on the N64 real. Uh, rocket arms. Whoa! 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 Wait, that says critical. So I'm doing crits to it? Hey. So ice is good against them? Maybe. You know, it is saying reduced. It is saying reduced. Um, maybe I have wind on. Yeah, I don't know what it's weak to. Lightning's not working on it. That is also reduced. Ow. Um, yeah, what about fire? Maybe it just doesn't have an element anymore. Wait. Can you... Yeah, it's just all reduced. I don't think it has an element weakness anymore. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, eat a potion, Aerith. All right. All 
Hmm. Why am I getting in its face? Uh, slow. Might be a good idea. Eh. Cool music, right? It's pretty neat. I need to ether uh, Yuffie. You know, I was going to blast it with spells. I'm like, that's not really going to do anything, is it? Um, just reduce its defense, I guess. How's that going to do? Well, and let Tifa punch her. Uh, oh, the arms. Eh. Punch the arms. Punch them. Okay, this isn't working. Oh, hello, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Okay. Hmm. A little top, top us off. There you go. Can I? There we go. One more shot. That's it. No, run away, run away. <laughs> okay. Uh, um. I don't know if I'm close enough for that. There we go. You know what? I've been sitting on these limits long enough. Oh no! Damn it. Get him. Get him. Get him. You forgot folded like an omelet. She really did. We're doing okay. Go on. Speaking of which, we're good. Ugh. Can I steal from you, ma'am? Nothing to steal from that. What about from the boing boings? Nothing to steal. All right. Uh, what if I blast it with lightning anyway? That might just do damage. Not really, no. Is it just physical? That's pretty rough. What do we got here? Cyclonic kick! Spinning bird kick. I think a lot of that missed. No, run, run. <laughs> what if two of them? What if two of them? Halved itself on the arm? Did I? Oh, you know what? Actually did. Okay, great. Hey. Come on. Uh, eh? Nah. I really just want Tifa to punch the shit out of its arm, but, you know, yeah, seem to increase the stagger. Try a somersault. Just delete the arm, please, Tifa. Yep, she's kicked it off. God damn. 
I mean, yeah, it was a limit, but Jesus Christ, lady. Nothing personnel, kid. And Art of War. Uh, Aerith can magic damage. Tifa can punch the shit out of it. Oh, come on! Thing has one HP. Oh. Oh. Hello. Ma'am? <laughs> oh, that was great. So long. <laughs> Literally like one Get HP from here. death. Oh man. I don't think so. That's a lot of fish. Ooh. I was gonna eat her. Mike. Ma'am, how is your robot still alive? And how is that? Right. Trendy game. She's in a mini game, quick! While she's distracted. Oh. Hey, honey, the thing's doing the thing again. Never mind. It's good now. Okay. Um. Yeah. She could be anywhere, man. Just make sure you keep your eyes peeled. Um. Huh. Plugging your keep yeah, no. Okay, bud. Don't let her fool you. 
She has no scar. You have no scar. <sighs> She's not Tifa. not Tifa. You can't be. We've been over this. I do have a scar. I showed you, remember? Liar. Anyone to fool her prey. Don't do this. But I'm no fool. Why'd the, why'd the camera do that? Okay. Everything's fine. Everything's just fine. Hey, Tifa! Tifa? become fish. Whispers. Are there like good whispers and bad whispers? I fish spurs. Huh? Okay. Where are they going?
Whispers? Fighting? Where... Where are we? Is this the development team infighting with each other? A live stream? Oh. Wait, we're doing this now? Relive your memories. What on earth? What on earth? Huh. Okay. This is in the OG. Not like this. Very, very kind of. The circumstances are drastically different. But there is stuff in the live stream involving flashbacks. I'm gonna go find my mom. Then I'm coming with you, Aoife. Me too. Not an evil. Here we come. Okay, then. Thanks, you guys. They're in the Tupperware. Hey, look. Think Cloud wants to come too? Cloud? <laughs> come on. Let's go. This fucking music. Tifa's theme like this? Man. Um. That's real good. That's real good. Damn. Yeah, it's it's in the original. Eh, I won't get into it. Just <laughs> Michael. And you're a famous soldier. If I'm ever trapped or in trouble, I promise you'll come and see. Huh? That's what heroes do. They save people. Please, just once. Yeah, it, yeah. What is this? This seems to be setting up what happens later in the original. This is interesting. Because it's not just the circumstances that are different in the original with memories in the live stream, but like, yeah. Tifa, stop! We have to turn back. Baby Cloud. You're not gonna find your mom here. She's gone. Cloud, please. I need you. Fight more whispers. I'm sure it'll all makes sense in time. It's on. Yeah, right here, right now. Let's do this. Sephiroth?
Stay strong, Tifa. You'll make it. But not if you give up. You have to want it. Fight for it. Hard as you can. You need to get up now, Tifa. You can't die here. Too many still depend on you. Tifa! Come back to us, Tifa. We've got a fight to finish. down there. Your shit together. Tifa needs you. I plugged in my controller, we're fine. A deserves that. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, uh, 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 uh huh. Where she belong? Oh. Oh, he's, he's, he's lightly pogging. When things are almost hype, but not quite hype yet. Uh, oh, I got, gotta do my slow walk. Hold on. I'm coming. I'm shuffling. What the cat doing? What the dog doing? What the cat doing? Yeah, I feel that. When you got the heartburn. Do like that you feels like no no I was gonna steal that meanwhile don't gag girl. oh next day what was the point of any of that um maybe a couple things some things I understand some things I have no idea what's going on <laughs> oh at least she's under a blanket thank God When will video games let people go under the covers in order to recuperate? <laughs> Shoes still on. Oh, yeah. I'll go get the others. Cloud? Paper Mario does. It just slips in. You remember how our parents used to tell us that when a person died, 
their spirit would cross Mount Nebo? Yeah. We all knew it was a story to scare us out of climbing the mountain. You believed it, though. I didn't. At least, I had my suspicions. But I buried them. I wanted it to be true so badly. I didn't want to think my mom was just... gone. Plus, Emilio and the others said they'd help me find her, so up the mountain we went. Some help they were. Running off and leaving you out there? Not that I knew about any of that. You don't remember? <laughs> I hit my head pretty hard when I fell off that cliff. I think it messed with my memory. Everything from around that time's a blur. I only knew what the others told me. Didn't even occur to me to question them. What'd they tell you? They said that you egged me on. <laughs> but now I know that's not what happened at all. When the rest of them ran, you were there for me. You stayed when I needed you most. If that's not a hero, then I don't know what is. I'm no hero. What kind of hero falls off a cliff with the person he's trying to save and pushes him into a pool of Mako? Sometimes, I don't even know who I am. I forget things everyone else remembers just fine and know things I've got no right knowing. It's like there's different people inside of me. And the worst part is, I can't even tell where they end and I begin. Go on. Soldier cells degrade. I think that's what's happening to me. That I'm falling apart. That's not going to happen to you. You saved me before. Now it's my turn. Was that chat in the game? Worried about little old me? I that's right. Worried. Come on. It was Sorry. about to take a drink of water. <laughs> Good as new. Everyone's fine. Yippee! How we doing, team? Oh, so basically, uh -huh. oh. we got some nasty-looking black whispers going up against the planet in the life stream, and these whispers are with Sephiroth, right? Yeah, at least that's how it looked to me while I was in there. <laughs> Look at Yuffie in the back. <laughs> and any idea who was winning? She is so Did bored. The planet. The life stream. Us. Well, of course we are. What did you expect? This is the planet we're talking about. Y'all know she's gonna pour her heart and soul into this fight. Just close your eyes and listen. Tell me you can't hear that. Her rallying cry. She knows Sephiroth ain't going down easy. And that she needs others to step up. But we're the only ones who can, don't you see? We need to commit, put our lives on the line to save hers. You in? Yeah. You bet we are. <clears throat> huh? Wow. What have I walked in on? You know, there are places better suited to these kinds of conversations. Like Cosmo Canyon. The home of planetology. It's right around the corner, isn't it? 
And do they have materia there? Because <laughs> if they do, I am in, like all in. There's an old dude who can fly. Time immemorial, it has been a place for both planetary energies and ancient wisdom. Of course we. Say no more. Let's ride, people. Oh, oh. <laughs> wow, Red. What's got you so excited? I grew up there. <laughs> That settles it. We've got ourselves a pilgrimage to make. <laughs> While it won't be an easy trek, this ought to speed things up. A free flyer pilot works out of an old airstrip nearby. He can take you part of the way. Oh. Use the south gate and follow the trail. You can't miss. Could it, it be? And I should. Is it the grumpy old man? Bird. <laughs> this here is Fango. He's taking quite a liking to you. Fango. Sure, he'd be more than happy to give you guys a lift. Hell yeah. Thanks, Disney, for everything. No, the let me keep was him. All mine. No, damn it. And if you need anything else, well, I got a just bird. ask around the village. Okay. Dang it. At least I got a bird out of it. I can't be that mad. Yay, everyone's back. Yeah, but God, that was a lot. Um, so there's like evil Sephiroth whispers, and then, you know, we should probably take a look at the town notice board. See if there are any jobs for us. Always fancied trying my hand as a merc. No time to dick around. Perish the thought. I just want to pull my weight, help my pals out where I can. I swear. Think we can do without your kind of help, you Shinra bootlicker. Still can't find it in your heart to trust me, eh? <sighs> the way we snuggled up last night, I thought we'd made a breakthrough. I only did that because I thought you were Marlene. Don't go making it weird. Jesus Christ. Uh, Don't forget to try some of our homes. It's springtime, boys. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to worry about... This is your first ah. from the I'm not worried about side stuff right now. Notice the howling. As coming. always, if there's something that you are like, please, for the love of God, do it before continuing, let me know. But I think I'm content to move on. There's not many shit at what? Hi, welcome. More proto relics? Not in this area? I mean, we'll probably end up doubling back through here. But, uh. There's a pilot! Yeah, we could try starting the proto relic here, but. I figure maybe it's better to wait till later to just try to knock them out. If you're a CC fan, what's CC? Crisis Core? Oh, I've never played Crisis Core. So that would be lost to me. I'm not opposed to doing the Proto Relics, but I think, I think for now we just continue on. If that sounds good. Uh, yeah. Crystal Chronicles? I always thought that'd be neat to try out. All right, Fango. We ride! Good barb! And that'll do. Great work, Fango. So, what are free flyer pilots exactly? Well, since the Republic's on the scrap heap, Shinra all but owns the skies. Birds ought to count their blessings that Shinra hasn't come down on them yet. Free flyers couldn't they care less, though, and go wherever they please. Good for them. Nobody owns the sky. Least of all, Shinra. Bet our man gives him the finger as he flies by. For real? Sounds like my kind of guy. Mm-hmm. You ready to make I don't know. I've never really looked into it too much. So I don't have a strong feeling about it. Carbon copy. Music is good. Bird. Borb. Uh, okay. I love that each region has its own little chocobo theme that plays when you first hop on the bird. It's also really nice that it only plays for a bit. I kind of like that it fades away and goes back to the main exploration theme of the area. It's like a best of both worlds. You don't get sick of the Chocobo theme. Not that you could get sick of this. There's a quest for Red 13. Which one? We could always come back and do it. 
we're still a ways away from more, um... Once we get closer to Cosmo Canyon, not Cosmo Canyon, once we come back to uh, get closer to doing Gold Saucer number two. It involves chickens. Does he get to eat some chimpkins? Um, where is this going to bounce me? You know what? I want to see where I go. Yeah! Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Neat. It's the chicken quest. All right. Purple and green. Villains. Villains the lot of them. Um, I could maybe take a little look at a little crystal. I don't know. Maybe there's just a little crystal. Right over here. Um, where where did the where did the crystal go? Eh, eh. Well, they live. These are j the Joker chocobos. Joke chocobos. I don't know about that. Yeah. Oh, it's Legend up. Holds that each time Kajada appears before humans, it takes on a different form. Well, it's been seen wreathed in raging flame, oh well. cloaked in chilling ice, and bathed in crackling lightning. Yeah. For this reason, the people of Gandaga have worshipped it as an embodiment of nature itself for generations. This place is a fucking nightmare, Trivers. It seems a little bit of a mess. Good thing I've got a board. Am I? I'm heading the wrong way. I need to go. Where the, just, I think I'm fine to just hop off. No, can I not? Man, games like Breath of the Wild broke me. Like, what do you mean I can't just freely go wherever I want? All right. No, no. So, okay. Nope. Hey, sweet, okay. Beep, beep, dee, dee, beep, dee, 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 beep, beep. Uh, that's just a torch. Where? Where am I? It's like right in front of me to the left. There we go. Made it. Gongaga airstrip. Me? Well, looks like we found the airstrip. Me? Or what's left of it. Yeah, it's definitely seen better days. You can say that again. It's more crater than runway. Are you kidding me? So we came here for nothing? Maybe not. See that? Oh, a Republic telephone booth, eh? What a wee look. I hope it's the boy. I'm just like, what other pilots do I know? From the original. Boxes! Yeah! Yeah. 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 More like ass strip, damn. Yeah, got location. Hoping up to fight some kind of giant monster here. Sure, it'll be fine. Nope, I didn't I didn't come on, Fango. Fang fang fango. 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 Thank you, Fango. How am I on health? We're fine. The Send chocos can kick. We'll be right with you, folks. Bronco Airlines. Bronco. Seriously? Guess so. So, find anything? Yeah, we gotta send up smoke. Like, with a fire? Wait, Bronco. you've never heard of smoke signals? Wow. What do they teach you in Midgar? Enough. <laughs> Well, leave it to someone who knows more than just enough. It's a good thing, guy, you feeling. This is taking too long. But I can speed things up. <laughs> more fire. Come to me, airplane. Follow the smoke. <laughs> Come, to, Come me. to me, airplane. airplane. Follow, Follow the smoke. The smoke. <gasps> Look! <gasps> right on cue! <laughs> well, I'll be damned. Told you I'd speed things up. <laughs> Over here! Rivals! 
He's too pretty. <laughs> he needs to look way sadder and older. Uh, not that I ain't seen crazier shit on my travels. Now, how many of you we got? Uh, Second or third hottest sit ever. Too many. What's your sit ranking, Katie? I want to know. But the old girl likes a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> With hazard pay, I'd say this is fair. And since I don't have much else going on, I'll be here scratching my ass to y'all pony up. Great. 16 sit is very good. I have 20,000 gil. But I think on principle I'm gonna say no. Fair enough. Just so you know, there's a cancellation fee if y'all decide to back out last minute. 100 mil per mm -hmm. person. Best think about that. I thought if I said no, he'd be like, oh, let me make it cheaper. Guess not. 16 Sid is S tier Sid. So good. If you've got my gill, then we got ourselves a deal. All right. Here you go, bud. Much obliged. Hop on board and sit where I tell you. Gotta make sure my baby's balanced just so. It is good to see him. I just, I wish he was, I wish he was more pathetic looking. <laughs> He looks like he's in control of his life, and I just don't, I don't like Hold that for him. Hold on tight now, you hear? Fall out, you're on your own. Because... <laughs> Here we go! Yeah, a little more scrungly. The end. Insert disc two. Oh. I must admit, I didn't expect to find a willing participant. No. No. <laughs> no. You are truly a model soldier. No, don't my fuck boy. with Roche. No, don't fuck with Roche. No. I mean, he's already a soldier. He's already fucked with, but you know. I'd hold still if I were you. <laughs> we wouldn't want any complications. No. Professor. <laughs> this is the worst type light. Since you're so committed, where are the whispers? I'm going to give you a special treatment. One that will surely make you into a hero. Maybe he's gonna turn Once him into a bike. This would have taken years. He's given him the now, jet bike potion. Now it takes a mere 18 hours. All thanks to me and my singular genius. I stand at the forefront of science. My brilliance a guiding light. Of course, we pioneers must be ready to do what others are not. They did such a great job making him disgusting. Though even I wouldn't dare attempt to improve upon perfection. <laughs> we got them. <laughs> it was pretty funny. I'll give you that, Ojo. It was a pretty funny rock. Oh, red. Cosmo Canyon? The music. Man, it looks great. No. What? What are you. Uh -oh. What are you? Okay. Thought maybe plants would be okay. But no. We. Not in here. We. 
we yeah you're not worried about flying around in the open like this what if Shinra sees us Shinra don't own the skies shitheads couldn't stop me even if they tried <laughs> I think you and me are gonna get along just fine best friends we're getting pretty close now yep bringing her down I see things Neo. I can't wait to talk to floating grandpa. And just well. Land it. Land it. Chapter 10. Okay, folks. Watcher of the Veil. Boogan Hagen. RPG about a kid who builds a plane and finds a girl trying to be murdered? What? Huh? Hmm. Brought you as far as I could. Hope y'all don't mind walking, cause now you're on your own. What about the next time we need a lift? Hmm. Send up a signal. Just make sure I got room to land. Happy trails to you. Bye bye. What a nice young man. He seems like he's got it all figured out. The veil's this way. Bye bye. Bronco Airlines. Inspect the telephone booth at an airstrip to send up a smoke signal and call upon the tiny Bronco. After alighting, the pilot will happily fly to any airstrip you visited before for the right price. That right price is 1,000 gil for your inaugural trip, 300 for subsequent flights. So he's my new fast travel. Nice. Proto Rock and Cosmic Canyon is really good character stuff, but it's a pain to get to. Gotcha. I'm down to do it. Just might not be right away. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'll probably go back and do Red 13 stuff. Again, as I said before, I'm probably going to make sure we get Red nice and happy with us before we head back to the Gold Saucer. If memory serves, we still got a ways to go before that, so I'm not too worried. This is great. Oh, man. Yeah, a lot of the side quests are good. I know. I know I'm missing out on a lot of stuff by skipping it. But I've made up my mind. I'm not opposed to doing some side stuff, just not going to be doing all of it. And by all of it, I mean a lot of it. <sighs> it took away a smoking habit. That's all I needed to get Sid to be more upkept. <laughs> He's young and pretty, and he's not smoking and depressed. Who is he? Who is this Sid? Maybe this is a timeline where all of his dreams have come true, and he's happy about it. Maybe, maybe this is a different world. And we'll find out. Because I'm pretty sure his town is on this one. As in, before City of the Ancients. Whoa. Yeah. Wow. All extra stuff is 32 additional hours. Yeah, I mean, it's a big game. Bunny's Rabbit. There are many of them. Many of the Bunny's Rabbit. I see. Looking forward to getting me a chocobo at some point here. Hmm. I cannot possibly express, ever since playing the original, the moment I got to Cosmo Canyon, I was like, I cannot wait, sir. I cannot wait to hear the rebirth version of the Cosmo Canyon theme, because that is one of my favorite town themes in the game. In a in a game, the original game is brimming with good music. And the original Cosmo is so good. What is this? Ski ski? What what are what are you? Best do it right. What are you? Avian creatures. Okay. 
I wanna. Yeah. What? What? It, what are you? I'm like a little penguin fucking guy. What, what an absurd character. Do we have weapon proficiency still going? Red's got one. Why isn't he in my party? Why isn't he in my party? Um, he's good. Yuffie's learned her thing. So we can switch, but I think the materia is good. So get Red back in here. Get him in here. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, silly lads party. That's what I'm about. Oscar C, goddamn. I was waiting for someone. Is the theme from OG one of my favorite most songs ever? Scroll. Yeah, it's good. Bring him back. He's back. True, they're in FF7. Mm -hmm. They've done a very good job. And also just adapting them. Like, they took the silly egg monsters and made them work, which. It's surprising to me. A lot of monsters in the original are just really weird little guys. Ow. I got your number. God damn this music! Stop it! Explain the Ramon's weakness. Do we dice? Yeah. Macher's respite? Depletes venture game. Right. So let's. Oh! Get that vengeance gauge up, buddy. What the hell is this? A three? Yeah, that. That works. Jesus. Give Aerith spells. Yeah, that's smart. That's a smart idea. She's not in the party right now, but I should at least give her a spell, right? Um, does it make sense for her to have revive? Definitely does. Um, that's pro. I want her to have an offensive spell. So no. Um, why don't you steal steal ice from Red? And steal lightning from Barret. That seems to make sense to me. And then you could have disempowerment, because why not? Got a bunch of other weird stuff. It's fine. I mean, I think I. Well, she might not have it. Never mind. Forget I said anything. Such a jam, man. Oh, key change. Chocobo Ranch. Give me Chocobo. Give me Chocobo. What the Chocobo? Thank you, Yuffie. Hello. Oh, I gotta do a quick. I mean, it's gonna be worth it. Shiny. That you? Hello. Who's Shawnee? One of your chocobos? Did they run away from home? <laughs> My apologies. I don't believe we've met. I'm Kamaria, the owner. <laughs> so, Shawnee's your bird? Goodness, no. Shawnee's my daughter. She's a chocobo Is jack. Is your daughter a bird? Or was, till she fell off her mount during a race. <sighs> Since then, she's completely lost her nerve. Refuses to get back in the sack. I see. Oh. Tell me, you kids any good at riding? Yeah. Oh, so he's only on CD. Wonderful. In that case, just how for would now. you like to use my training course? I had everything built brand new just for Shawnee, but now it's going to waste. Someone ought to put it to good use, don't you think? And who better than you young go-getters? 
Me. I don't know. Ever run a ring course? It's simple. You strap yourselves in and fly through a series of hoops. I reckon you won't find a course like mine anywhere else. Whoa! That sounds amazing! <laughs> you want to try it, right? Imagine how jealous everyone will be. Sure. But first, you'll need to catch yourself a chocobo. One that isn't afraid of heights. A fine bird like Apony ought to do you, though. Go ahead and ride her over to the training course. Twisting paths and bewildering brushlands. What is this She'll camera angle? it all with ease. Intel. Trunk and bomb. That away. Gimme, 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 gimme. Superman 64, I love that game. I wish every game consisted primarily of flying through rings. It's the best. Where are we in the world map? We are over there. So this is Corel, where uh, Costa del Sol was like up along the coast, and then Corel itself and Gold Saucer is like in there. There's all the desert we crossed, and the Gangaga. Now we over here. And there's all this up here we haven't seen yet. Which we'll get to. In the original game, Co uh, Cosmo Canyon is like, you drive the buggy and then the rocks turn red and you kind of go rip, 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 and just kind of climb over a hill and then the, the town is at the top. Like everything else in this game, it's like, it takes about five seconds to get there outside of random battles. And now it's a whole ass thing. But man, with this music, I don't even care a little bit. Yeah, wait, is it optional? Oh, the buggy breaks down if you go past it? That's funny. Because yeah, I, I immediately stopped. Why would you keep going? Yeah, if you were if you were fast-tracking the original game, you would skip Gongaga and go straight here. Hello. Yes, Chadley. Oh. He didn't bother me. Thank God. Beep, 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 God damn his dulcet tones, though. The jams are so nice. Warding materia. Appearance resistance to the linked materia's detrimental status effect. Give me one of thems. Um. Snail shell bracelet. Road warrior bangle. Cloud and. Well, oh, everybody likes these. Let's go. Hold on. My son, Chadley. Your son sucks. I'm sorry to tell you like this. I'm sorry you had to find out like this, but, uh, your son is awful. <laughs> uh, happy Miku Day. Happy Miku. Um, it's probably Cloud for that, and then, like, man, whoever. With that. Get a better son. Sorry, not sorry. That's so mean. Uh, Road Warrior. Yeah. Eh. And it's got a crocodile bracelet, an outlaw bangle, abyssal bangle. Abyssal bangle? It's only grade five. We could do better than that. Right? Because he's got. Well, he has three materia slots. What are you doing out there, champ? Get him the outlaw. He's an outlaw. That one. Sage arm band. Is this better? Yeah, that's better. There you go. Great. Um. Hmm. Uh, apparently, the Warren Guys resists the physical magic attack reduction. Let's do that then. And give you. Warding. Great. Beautiful. Very passive aggressive. Mm hmm. Yeah, we're fine. I established this back, you asked if I was one of his goons. Mm-hmm. Plane just got lost heading to Cosmo Canyon. The buggy broke down because I went too far because I didn't know it was scripted. I thought Dio gave me a lemon as a prank. Oh, no. You're just running around like, where do I go? Yeah, I can imagine 
if you manage to miss Cosmo Canyon being a thing you can go to. Because it is just like a chunk of rock with like buildings sticking out of it. Which, this is rad. What on earth? Um, yeah, I can understand being like, what the hell do I do? Where do I go? What are you selling? Well, come on in. Hope you find what it is you're looking for. New chocobo gear. New chocobo gear. Mystical hedge. Oh, 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 oh. Can't afford all of it, but you know. That might be neat. What do you got in here? Bunch of stuff. Cool. What am I selling? Um You know? Great question. I think I'm okay. I think we're all right. Or am I? Do I have 99? Sure do. Just gonna sell a couple. Like 10. Guess I can probably get some crafting done, but... Man. Show goodbye for now. Thanks for that. Um... Give me some of these. Give me... Why did I use up all my sage? That was not wise. Um... Mist Mega Potion. Nice. Uh, I need this plant's mercy. Yeah. You get down to 70, still have enough for everything? Probably right. Crucible Bracer. Okay. And, uh huh. Other things. Good. Enhanced Abyssal. And. Yeah. Da -da -da -da. Did he say Choco Bye? Sure did. Hey, I see you too. How did you get here? To do a little avian investigation. While most chocobos run on land, the birds around here are capable of taking to the skies. Flying on chocoback must be quite the thrill. Jax. Jax. There goes my lunch. Have some gum and don't hurl on my ship, kid. <laughs> this is very good. What a thrill. Using sage for everything. Sage is great. Um, what do you got? Mm, synergy. Allows an ally to fall. The leader's attack command with an attack from linked materia. Poison and petrify. Oh. Jump allows you to leap into the air during battle with jump. After disappearing into the sky for a time, you'll drop down and deal damage. What? The hell? Uh, I kind of want that. I need more data points. Skill master. Eight to be increased if using three types of commands. That was nice. I wish you all the best in your ongoing hunt for. I don't mean in food. Oh. Well. Where where did you tell me to go? Up here. Capture a pony. It's not a pony. It's a chicken. How do I get? The oh, this continues through. All right. Floor tank material. What would that do? I can't but help but notice there's a mountain. I gotta go right. What the chicken doing? Mm. Mm. Oh, the footprints! Just like the original. Oh shit, no. I remembered what this means. We have to be stealthy. God damn it. I gotta solve their stealth puzzle. Alright. Okay. She started yelling chickens, she's two. Oh, that's so cute. Look! A pony! That's gotta be Apony! I found a pony. Use the cart to block the chocobo's view. Oh shit, it immediately turned. Oh, it's smart. Um, how am I supposed to know when it's going to turn? What if I just run? Oh, because I probably need to bring this all the way over. In order to get... Do I? Sir, you're taking too long. Also, I can only move the camera a little bit. 
Please don't turn. Yeah, I need to bring this all the way down. Checkpoint updated. Sweet. Please turn. Stop looking. There's no snacks here. There's no gisal greens or choco nuts or whatever the hell you want. Can you please turn? Thank you. That's not enough. I'd like you to turn more. I want you to turn more than that. Why are you looking over here? I think he likes me. I don't like him. You're not a pony. Sir! Turn around! Oh my god. Is that... What? what, what will you meet... Can I just roll? See you later. See you later, kid. I probably just need it on there. Yeah. Need it all the way over there first. Can you pull it? I might have to. God! Wait, gotta wait for his startled meter to go down. He's forgotten what he was looking at. See you later, kid. Brain? None. Literally a bird brain. Alert, 99. Yeah. Those which change track. Yep. Yeah. Just gotta make sure it's nice and set. What? What? What are you- what are you looking- there's nothing over here. Uh-huh. Great. God damn, they're cute, though. Great work. Oh, great. What was that noise? Quit. Quit, I say. Quit. Please don't turn this way. Please don't turn this way. Please don't turn this way. Okay. Fine. Alright, so is that one on the right? That's it? Checkpoint updated. Yeah. Yep, great work. Definitely, there's something really cool over that way that I recommend you keep looking at for a very long time. And then go, 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 get out of there, Cloud! Run! Phew. Close call. Almost saw me. See you later. Yep. Bye. Am I backing up into a bird right now? Let's find out. Uh, no, we're okay. What? Who did? You did? Oh, that one. I love video game. Where am I? Okay. Great. Perfect. Yeah, I'm not starting from the beginning. What? Look, look at the bro there you go. He looks at that rock for a long time, so I think we're safe to just keep pushing. Checkpoint. Let's grab some rocks. Quickly. Give me some rocks. Perfect. Um. Do I just want to... Is it already where I want... Maybe it's where I want it to be. Alright. Hey, why don't you look over there? Uh, yeah. What do you... No, no you didn't. No you didn't. 
Its name is a pony. Yeah, it's a pony. He wants Cloud wants a pony. Oh, now it's looking though. Oh, it's a little curious noise. What are you fucking? What? Are you, dude, just instantly was like, I no longer care about the rock. Dwayne cares about you. Did you think about that? Here, check this out. And yeah. Quickly! Come on, Cloud! Right. Beautiful. And we're off. No object permanence. Nope. And whenever you're ready, you can go ahead and turn around, buddy. Yep. Whenever you're ready, you can... There you go. There you go. What a smart lad. Alright. We've almost made it to a pony. Mini game checkpoint. So I think we just need to throw something behind this guy and then something behind a pony. And we'll be ready to go. Hands you a rock. Hands you a rock. Hands you a rock. Eh, eh. Yep. I thought that was pretty cool. A pony, do not be concerned about the cart moving slowly towards you. I assure you this is good. At no cause for alarm. And I would love for you to... Clout. Look. No. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Nuh-uh. -uh. Oh, it does not stay upset for long. Oh. Yay! Distracted, not upset. A pony! I caught a pony. Burp. Easy, girl. We got you. Yay! Yeah. I got a bird! The birds of the Vale are fearless and can leap from certain ledges that fly across the region's steep chasms. While on Chocoback, take flight from gliding ranges marked with the icon and ride the generator's air currents to access hard to reach locations. Right. Oh yeah. You just hit me. You don't get sick on Chocoback. Amazing, isn't it? It's like my Chocobo and I share one mind, one body, one soul. Uh-huh. Or maybe my body just hates shimmer cars, trains, and boats. They ought to find a way to make the right scooter for their stuff. Put R&D to work. I think they got other priorities. That's true. Cosmo Canyon, ho! I think I might head to Cosmo Canyon and maybe we call it there. Once we listen to the jams, of course. Um, we got a bit of a ways to get there first. Chocobos naturally excrete dream, I mean. <laughs> what a world. Oh, oh! There it is! Oh, looks good. Oh, that's neat. Let's get there. Oh. I can't wait to say hi to Grandpa. Hey, so, I've been meaning to ask you something. You said old Sephiroth's come back from the dead, right? I mean, that's a bad thing. So, what I want to know is, how'd he do it? And what's he after? To save the planet. But, wouldn't that make him a good guy? It's not what he's doing, but how. He doesn't give a shit if everyone dies in the process. Sounds like a total nutter. I mean, there's not much point in having a planet if there's no one left to enjoy it, is there? That said, let's not forget that we still got a whole nother problem. One that's reared its ugly head time and time again. Bunch of assholes who won't stop till they've bled the planet dry. Sin. Hmm? <laughs> to hit them where it hurts, we'll need to leverage those connections of yours. But if you even think about stabbing us in the back, I'm gonna hug and squeeze you to death, you hear me? Loud and clear. 
I just realized I didn't get a good look of Kate Sith riding on a chocobo. And we won't. Yes. What the cat doing? Can't even reach the reins. What the cat doing? What he doing? Ma, the cat. Oh. Cat's riding the bird again, Ma. Fetch the camera. He's so bitty. <laughs> He's so bitty. And let us not forget Red 13 riding a chocobo, which is still just something else. All right. Hello. They're nothing. Nothing, huh? Then why are we stopping to fight them? Let's do this. Take them down. Come on, make it. With me. Great. Red Crit's been running at speed with Chocobos, they need to give him out. But it's good that they did. Uh, he's almost got that proficiency. Cosmo Canyon. Here we... Mushroom Kingdom. Here we go. Show me... Oh, that's not... I was like, am I pointing towards it and I'll get some grand... Oh, there it is. Alright. Yeah. Do it. <laughs> Attack him. Attack him. That works. A little more. A little more. A little more. A little, there we go. That should give us the proficiency. There we go. Oh. One fire and thunder. Nice. Uh, do it. Do it. It's already dead. <laughs> it's like, I don't think I'll make it long enough. But... You see that mountain? You can go over there. But I don't care about that mountain. But I do care about Kate Seth not dying. For some reason. He can die a little. He's fine. Oh, there's the reveal. Behold Cosmo Canyon. A sacred sanctuary where the planet's greatest minds gather. It's beautiful. More than I ever imagined. Come on, let's pick up the pace. I can hear it calling my name. <laughs> 
Ferret, yeah, you can't see too. it yet. You gotta climb the stairs first. And then you can see it. Yeah! Bird! Bird! It's a pony. We made it! We made it! I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. Yeah! Hello. Oh. Hey, guys! It's me! Come back! Nanaki? I can't believe it! It really is you! <laughs> we were so worried! Oh, come on! Whoa! Now, why don't you go pay your respects to fellow Bugenhagen? Come on! Music. Uh, you can let them through. They're good people. I promise. Oh my god. After all, they're the reason I'm here. What in the hell was that? Hey guys, it's me. Who? <laughs> He's such a softy. Real quick, gotta check something. An airship dropped these on us this morning. Oh. Wanted posters of the terrorists who bombed those reactors. Uh. Hmm. <sighs> but I think we can say you had nothing to do with all that. Nope. Even if Nanaki hadn't vouched for you, it's obvious. Welcome to the Sanctum of Planetology, Cosmo Canyon. They nailed the assignment. Oh, that's good. Thanks for keeping watch over the veil. My mm -hmm. pleasure. Mm -hmm. Are you about to head out on patrol? Yeah. That windmill generates energy. Oh god, they're all saying stuff. Ah. You see that wanted poster? Pictures look nothing like us. Must be that way for a reason. Gotta keep on our toes. Mm-hmm. Yo. Oh. Mm-hmm. They're jamming. Oh, there he goes. Oh my god. Red 13 going bat doing Batman voice whenever he goes, I don't know. It's like Hey guys, I'm home! Yay! Hello, uh, Cloud. Yes, it is I. Oh shit, yeah. I'm excited for that too. It's gonna be nice. Oh man. It is wild that this is just huge in <laughs> comparison to the Oh man. Neat. Um Well. It goes back oh I can't wait. Um but I'm what this feels like a decent I am tempted to keep going, but it feels like a decent stopping point because this is gonna be a bunch of plot stuff. Oh good. Oh good, the child's here. Um <laughs> I feel bad for being that mean to him. Um, there's gonna be a bunch of plot stuff once we get up to the top and, and talk to Bugenhagen. Bugenhagen is like the lore dump in the original game. He was like, let me explain to you what's happening. So, it's probably gonna take a bit. Um, oh man. Oh, it's rad in here though. There's tourists here? Oh. 
Was faking his voice a plot point in the original that happened once there were voice actor versions? I don't remember exactly. Is the most storied establishment. I don't remember how they did it in the original. Kind of changes the way he talks, let's play like more formal and formal after. Gonna be to our lecture? Oh yeah. Hello. Oh! Is that SSL? Oh, you understand. Used to be a soldier. Ooh. Lots of hand signals. That's how Shinra sign Shinra language. Sign came language. To be a thing. I know the basics. Queen's blood, huh? That's neat. My board in a Japanese translation. Yeah, because Japanese has so many layers of like politeness and how you speak to someone. That's too bad. I'm sorry, I only play Queen's Blood against dogs and chocobos. May the cosmos above grant you a restful sleep. This guy was in Mythbusters. Rest, yeah. If you'd like to know more. He only talked away because of errands. I'm sure we'll get into it as we... Yes. Uh, as, we, as we progress further in, I'm sure Red will talk about it. So I'm not worry about it. Anyway, I think this is where we're going to leave it for now. But next time... We're going to venture deeper into Cosmic Canyon. That's too bad. Yeah. Play it, please. No! This series, Tim Rogers did on the original FF7 translation that touched on how Red talked. For the curious. Oh, God. In in Tim Rogers fashion, is it a 30-hour video? I love me some Tim Rogers, but man, that guy could talk. Um, Thanks for hanging, everybody. Uh, We got we got through Gongaga and Cosmic Canyon. We're, we're, we are trekking along. Um, it's good. Having fun. Me? 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 Gongaga. Let me get caught up in stuff real quick, and then I'm gonna kick y'all out of here. It feels like a shorter stream, even though it's still longer than my non-FF7 rebirth stream average, but... Yeah. Where are we going? I don't know. Figure that out in a minute. But first, uh, Sudo, thanks for four months. Anonymous gift to the sub to Jax, who made some very good art earlier. Tracker Rock, thanks for 100 bits. Just Vev, thanks for the sub. Hope you enjoy the emotes. Welcome. And hope you enjoy your crayon scribbling of a key. Kiwi Queen, thanks for 22 months. Uh, you gotta play this game yourself. Yep, that's all right. Thank you again. Soul Sasquatch, thanks for 32 months. Uh, a springe is a noose or snare for catching small game. The more you know. That did come up earlier. I was like, a springe? It's not a word I know. Now I know. If it is Zimmer, thanks for 96 bits. Watch where you're driving that truck before we isekai someone to a final lure fantasy. If someone got hit by a truck in Final Fantasy, would they just go to a normal place? Normal world? Without magic? Mm hmm Not stream past 11 for Rebirth? I know. I, again, if we if we go for another five minutes, that would mean at least another half hour. So I'm like, again, this is a good off ramp for now. Uh, that's how Ohio was made. Ohio is just filled with isekai people from a fantasy world. Mm. Thank you, Kiro. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate you hanging. Uh, VS Farms, thanks for that dollar, you do. Thank you. Star Mango, thanks for 77 bits. Uh, crisis Core Context. Cisne was a Turk and friends with Zack. When the big thing happened, Cisne moved to Gongaga undercover to take care of Zack's parents. Also ran into Zack after he escaped the place and let them go. Uh, she should absolutely know who... She should know who Cloud is, but apparently doesn't. If she was interacting with Zack after the stuff happened with him that I know of from the original FF7, it is weird that she wouldn't know Cloud, but... Maybe there's a reason for that. Maybe there's side quests around her that deal with that more. No, and thank you for that. And also, thanks for ten bits. There's a secret date if you're mean to everyone. I hope so. This good enough. Thanks for the two month resub. Welcome back, enjoy your bronze key and the five gifted subs. This is very kind. I hope you're having a good. Thank you so much. Exploding crayon art. Thanks again for the raid and Sharp Mango. Thanks for ten more bits. Apparently, FF said it was always supposed to be thirty-two. Well, as a thirty-four year old, I still think they yassified him. I mean, the, the, let me, let me pull up the original Sid art that Nomura made for his design. Because it's not, it's not that his design doesn't look like Sid. It very clearly is Sid. Goo Goo Gong Gaga. Hi, Bubbles. This is art from the original Sid from the original game. And like, he, the, his new design totally matches. But like, there's an extra kind of, there's like a crust to him. There's like an extra crunchiness, a little scrungle, and maybe not scrungle, but like an extra layer of, of grit on him. And I feel like they made him a little bit too could be the tough boy, the bad boy in a boy band in this. That's the divorce layer, right? It's like the divorce and the regret. They, that really ages you. 
Ten more years of six. Yeah, the new one doesn't seem to smoke. At least we haven't seen him smoke. So maybe that's what it is. There's a little touch of this corn bowl. So, grizzle. Yeah, some grizzle. Some gristle and grizzle. Old Sid looks like... OG Sid looks like he drinks black coffee four cups a day. New Sid looks like he moisturizes. Yeah, it's still Sid, and I'm happy to see him, but he's just... He's just a little... I mean, we'll see. I mean, we're going to get a lot more Sid later on, so I'm excited for that. Better graphics is less long answer. I mean, listen. The fumes coming out of my PS5 are probably bad for me. So, 32 years old in the 90s was older. I mean, you joke, but if you look at, like, videos of people in their 30s from, like, the 80s, because of the fashion, they look older than, like, people nowadays do. So it kind of, it kind of, it kind of is a little bit. Anyway, I'm going to kick y'all out of here because we made it here. Steve Martin has been 75 for 80 years. Dude, it really has been. Um, thanks for hanging again. I appreciate y'all hanging watch me stumble through this game. I'm having fun with them. Um, ba -na -ba -ba -na. Holy shit. You know who we get to raid? Um, we can raid Shiv. Yeah, a bunch of people are streaming. But Shiv doesn't stream often. So I want to go throw us over to Shiv, who's playing Bellatro. Which is a very good game. Um. So yeah, let's go. Go say hi to Shiv. Go throw Shiv a follow if you're not already following them. Good, good times. Shiv doesn't stream often, but when they do, it's good. Me Gaga? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me Gaga. Me Gaga. You Bellatro. How about that? The addiction has been passed on. Yeah, and the Bellatro claims another soul. Uh, thanks, thanks for hanging. I'll, I'll be back. Uh, what day is it? Today's Friday. It's Friday night. Yeah, baby. I remember when it is. So I'll be back on Sunday. Where uh, if you join, you're gonna you're gonna get some good Bugenhagen. And and from the two seconds he showed up in one of the trailers for this game that I saw, it seems he can still fly, because in the original he just kind of floats around while he's doing his PowerPoint presentation. And I was like, that's goofy as hell. And it looks like maybe he still does that. I don't know. Yeah, I'm excited. He's a silly old guy. But yeah, thanks. Have a good Friday night. Have a good weekend. Take care. Me going Bugenhagen. Bugenhagen. Have a good one. He does? Hell yeah. Love that guy. All right. Bye. See you later. This has been emotionally captivating for this thing. Yeah, I know. It was, things were emotional earlier. Thanks for hanging. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you later. See you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hey. Get out of here! I'm, I'm done. Go home. You're already home, probably. Hey, thanks for watching, Bob Watchers. Uh, we're gonna uh, pick things back up at Cosmo Canyon next time. This is where Cosmopolitan Magazine started. Started as an FF7 magazine, and they kind of detoured from there. Detoured? Detoured. That's not how it prints. Hey, I gotta go. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.